We're back. Yo, Resonance of Fate. Good choice, Esmeralda. Hello, people. How are we feeling? What are we saying? What the fuck are we doing? It's that time. It's been a minute. I know uh, I said I was going to slow down on streams, and probably after this one I will. But <laughs> this is going to be a good one. I'm very excited. To make all of you extremely sad. Let me uh, let me take a look at chat here. We slug is out here. How how am I uh, how am I doing sound wise? Can you guys uh, hear me okay? Am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Who else dripping the gooey? <laughs> oh Christ! Oh Christ! Yeah, we we got the zesty bunny out. This is technically a Sonic maniac. That we're looking at so uh it's fine okay that's good that's good i've been i've been tinkering with like my my audio settings quite a bit um good good i see gestures gesture gestures gesture god i cannot pronounce that um firstly i want to say big thanks to alan sampson and uh by extension jester for all the research they've done into this creature, this cretin, uh, it's greatly appreciated because, uh, holy fuck, there's a lot to look at, and I have a pretty exhaustive uh, timeline of who he is. But first, we gotta open up with something special. A uh, friend of the show, Mimi, recorded something that I wrote. So, here we go. <laughs> Hi, honey. It's me, your lovely cuddle bat rouge. You know, I'm always so happy when I can calm you down after a tough day. I know you've had so oh, much on your mind enough. between those trolls like Team Boy 2K7. I just want you to know you can always take me to bed to hug and snuggle when you're upset about being criticized for talking to minors. 
When you're being bullied by that one-armed bear, that gay cyclops, or even when your mom buys you a Nike tech fleece instead of Pac-Man World 2. I've spent all my time looking for the most beautiful gems, but you're the gem I treasure the most. I love it when your hot beefaroni breath is so pungent I can smell it on my fur all I'm day. I'm glad you don't like it. You're my big, strong gamer boy, and I agree. Peppa Pig should be more mature, and Banjo's pants are not green. They're Let's not. go to bed. I think Futaba and Kasumi are waiting there, too. You can tell me all about how Ace is wrong and how it's okay to hang out with kids as a 28-year-old man. <laughs> Uh, well, shout out Vivi for recording this. Because <laughs> uh, let's segue so well into our first video. We're going to be looking at some of the boys' favorite waifus. Um, Sonic Squads and also Teenage of Fight Club subscribers. <laughs> yeah, don't collect gems. <laughs> don't collect gems. How y'all doing? This is the Sonic City Gamer and also, also I'm known as Safe and Anime. And today, I want to do a very special video on Teenage of Flight Club because basically there's Check actually a video I wanted to do time. for a long time that I've never done before. I've always wanted to do waifu characters and not by like through a tier list or whatever, no. Instead, I'm just going to give my thoughts of the top 10 waifu characters that me and my friend. I can't lie, like bald Sega Sonic is like my, my favorite look. Or Sonic Sega, I always mess up his stupid name. Uh, just because you get to see all the horrifying creases in his cro magnet brain. Friends would like to have if they were real in real life. Because let's face it, these are just only fictional fictional characters only in the shows and video you guys games. Are so mean. Can you imagine how the world would be like if Spence, these characters like actually appeared in real in the real world and basically hang out with them in real life? It's amazing. And you know, although most of the times they're just fictional characters, but basically they only speak to the audience sometimes through, where if it's through hologram, a uh, hologram, whatever. It's man, the roasts are crazy. You're gonna, you people are gonna have to donate to roast at this point because it's gonna be all a roast. Uh, Liquid Snappy with five dollars. Have some money, Brent Z. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. And uh, grape soda with one ninety nine for the Tekken fund. Also badass fruity bun. Yeah, the the fruity bun returns. The fruity rabbit is motherfucking back. We had it. We had it. We had it. Slugs never ever fucking die. It's hard to say. So yeah, it's kind of hard to say yep. what about the the whole waifu thing. So yeah, but if these characters <laughs> actually appeared in real life, that would be amazing. I will hang out with a few girls and a few boys too if they're real in real life. I'm probably like the characters from the shows. The okay. cartoons, of video course. games, anime, anime characters, etc. So you know, so you know something like that. I'm pretty sure also Media Ninja would my hang out with those characters, so including waifu characters. And same thing goes for Darkness Twilight, but apparently he's got other things uh to talk about, so I know it's confusing, Moss Room, but uh rabbits are my favorite type of animal. I love rabbits so much. And uh, shout out Egg for making this incredibly cute Sonic Sona for me. It's it's fucking adorable. He he's such a little baby. But yes, I I requested being a rabbit because I love bunyers. Basically, yeah. I so love yeah, that. um, all three of us wouldn't mind having these waifu characters in real life as waifus. Weird if only it was possible. But like I said, before like. I think I said something like this when, uh, when Doom and I checked this guy out. It's like, this man's got the mighty, the fucking uh, killer bean phenotype. Like, his head straight up looks like a chickpea. My god, man. This guy looks like he was unfrozen from a piece. <laughs> Before, they're just, fi they're just fictional characters, and I get it. But if they were real, that would be amazing, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Hard our bunner, yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's right, Joey. Um, I have nothing else to say. So, but today's video we're going to do is the top 10 fair waifu characters, plus a few honorable mentions okay. of all time Buckle up. that I would like to have as waifus. I would like to and have if you guys can tell me what's your fair waifu character of all time that you would like to have as a waifu <laughs> in real life, yeah. then leave your comments Girl, down in the comments section below and tell me what's your fair top 5 or 10 waifu Why am I live at the same time as Claw? Because Claw can't fucking stream with brevity. Every single Claw stream has to be 7 hours long. <laughs> That's why I I was I can't keep pushing my shit because Claw streams for five hundred hours. Who cares? You love to have in real life, so yeah. Have a but job, anyways, man. with that being said, let's just get straight to the video. These are my picks for the top ten 
favorite waifu characters I would like to have in real life, if they're real. So if without further ado, let's begin. Q intro. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is evoking a uh, a certain a certain poison. <laughs> oh yeah, Peek is here. Peek is here. How much to flip all of his awkward laughs? I can't keep doing this. Uh, flip all of his awkward laughs. Seventy five dollars. <laughs> That's so much shit you're asking me to call for. You never see it coming. You see that my mind is too fast. As for all that, I'd love to be a housewife. If the opportunity was available, I'd love it. Dr. Negus be wild in with five dollars. You're out with your BFGF and this man slips through ass and smiles at you. What do you do? Well, I know he won't taller me fighting back, so uh I'm sure he's just gonna take her home and have a good time with her. It's it's okay. He he's gonna take he's gonna take my cute cat boy, femboy boyfriend home and have a good time with him. So it be what it be. We wilded on StreamYard, that's right. <laughs> Team Ninja Fight Club. Let's fucking go. Number 10. Okay, so. Booga booga. Starting off. We go in full number drug 10 in the cut. Is, of course, ah. Misty. From Pokemon. Oh. The reason why. Literally his first choice as a 12 year old. <laughs> I, I put her ah. on the list is because I'm 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 quiet. God damn! All right, let me try something. Uh, how about now? How about now? How am I? How am I now? How am I now? Someone tell me. Moss room, tell me. Am I quiet? Am I quiet? Am I loud? God, these fucking. <laughs> I've been trying to fiddle with this shit for so long now. How am I audio wise? Someone tell me right the fuck now, please, for the love of God. I'm dying here. Moss Room, you can't be playing with me. You can't be playing with me. God damn. Misty has not been around in the Pokemon series for the past better or so <laughs> since 1997 because she was one of the main characters to support Ash. I hate live tweaking this shit. All the way up until the Indigo Plateau leak or whatever, but she still stick with him to the very end. It's just that what makes Misty so special is how she actually cares about her friends and also oh, yeah. that one time she also carries that um that togepi around her arms all, all the time until one day togepi decided to to involve and then decide to be let go it was actually amazing but also heartbreaking at the same time but it was happy too nice <laughs> but i want to see i want to see blood here if i can review movies to go like that was really bad when Travis Bickle shot the guy, but he was mad, but also sad. And it wasn't good, but it was kind of okay when he had a happy ending. The reason why I put Misty on number 10 spot is because, well, I want to consider her now, as a waifu. To me. If she was real, I would have her as a waifu. And basically, I would treat her better than what Ash couldn't treat her. Like, Ash treats Thanks, her... Great. Ash treats Thank Misty you, in the show like, like an idiot, like a, like a stupid darn idiot. Turn your idiot, own volume you know? up next time, boss. basically... Room. You know, for this case, I just don't like it how Ash treats Misty like that, like complete utter garbage. The way I see it, Ash just basically doesn't care just about chat, anybody man. by himself. So, oh, about Pokemon trading stuff. Yeah, it's almost like Ash is characterized like a 10-year-old boy in that show, where he would be quite disinterested with a girl at that age. Now, before you ask, wow. Wow. I don't hate Ash Ketchum. Sometimes in one of the episodes, he does make some good points. And he's also sometimes the smart. Are, like are... the one with the Ditto episode. <laughs> but yeah. Wild, Basically, shit. I would treat Misty really well. Treat her nice. And maybe yeah. show her around maybe. some good uh, like good times and stuff. And, you know. <laughs> oh, she was... the line, Bert. Show her around uh, for a good time. Yeah. Her life, oh. but yeah. But... 
show show the show the 12 year old pokemon trainer around for a good time hell yeah man that's a good thing to say out loud as a 28 year old man sick i'll put misty on my number 10 spot as a wife keep the roast going and misty keep going. you deserve to be more respected than what ash couldn't do he just treats you like complete utter garbage naga, and i feel naga so naga is sorry the best you. esmeralda naga is the best i star can we get one like video for misty because misty needs Man, can, one, one like equals one heart for Misty. Uh, Shitcock McPee Boner with 199. Rose a hybrid of a Neanderthal and a slob. <laughs> Needs a little bit more respect. I don't care if I say, oh, Misty's not a great character. Well, yes, she is. You can call her yes, she annoying is. all she wants. I don't care if she yells or screams all along. For me, I don't usually treat her like that. I treat her with respect, and basically, I treat her, treat her he nice. Has wrinkly. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention about Misty. The one thing... I don't like it what Ash does. Ash steals Guys, Misty's bike. Guys, put your bike waifus in chat, okay? The next episode, Please. we see Misty again holding a bike. Guys, put your put your waifus in chat. I want to see how bad your taste is. At the Pokemon. You guys know that my dynamite guy is uh, Gilgamesh from Fate Stay Night, so my taste is downright uh, deplorable. It's downright horrendous. So I want to see those waifus in chat. Please and thank you. Center. You know, really Make angry at Ash. Make it happen. And basically, that's the one thing Lena. I don't like about Misty. But basically, she tells Ash that he... Esmeralda, I hope you put that Daki Maka on a real flat pillow if you got a Lena one, because good lord. Owns her another bike, another bike, and yeah. It was really stupid when it comes to Ash ruining Misty's bike. Don't think I get worse tricks. And to be honest, if I got chased by Sparrows too, and, ba and basically Misty actually catched me with her fishing oh. rod bait... Good taste, great. Even without Pokemon, Akarati, uh, I would best. tell her how I feel, and she would understand. But then, as we see Sparrows, instead of taking her bike, I would say, "Hey, Misty, um, how about you? How about you get me out of here with your bike? Because Sparrows are actually going to chase, chase us." Yeah, come. And Misty will probably Misty. like, "Yeah, okay, sure." After sure. all, what friends are about are, are are for and stuff. So yeah, that's what friends are about. You know, that's what friends are about, guys. Trust me, if I got chased by a sparrow. Bro, bro is straight yapping about this this child. I would keep I would it tell moving. Missy to get me the heck out of there. Trust me. Keep it moving, bro, bro. But I will protect her with all my might, no matter what. All your and might. Missy will show a little bit, like some some kind of like affection, <laughs> no. love to me, and that's pretty cool. So yeah. No. But Misty, I will. Oh, I will always consider. Oh, Star, Star, you got peak taste. You saw that you saw that uh, second season Inuyasha ending, and you knew you knew that this man, this toxic man, will take care of me. <laughs> That's the Shomaru. That's one of my favorite main characters <laughs> for the Pokemon series. So yeah. Oh, you retracted that? Come on. <laughs> I'll treat Misty better. Da -da, da -da, so yeah. Da -da. All right then. Yeah, well, so Shomaru is pretty. Let's get cute. to the next one. Number nine. At the number nine spot, we have. Oh wait, wait. At the number wait. nine spot. What? Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! My man straight up looks like he's made out of taffy. What is this? What is this shit? Why? How? How did his skull become that? <laughs> Good lord! We have, of course. Rosalina from Super. Oh, our boy's gonna be mad. Our boy Dogs Eating Dog Six is furious right now. I'm married to Rosalina. Super Mario Galaxy. Now I know what the you guys say. You guys are gonna say something like the concept like <laughs> oh, like Rosalina's nothing doctor. special. Like nobody even talks about her. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. Hear me out. She actually bad. Rosalina first made her appearance in Super Mario Galaxy back around 2007 when the game came out for the Nintendo oh, okay. Wii. Good what shit makes start. her so special is how she has also I... an origin backstory of oh. how she was like a young girl. All right, bro yapping. Bro straight yapping. Star, I, I totally think, like, not facetious at all. Great husbando. Peak. And then her mother tells her stories about the stars and other stuff. And then the one day... Rosalina, as she was growing up, she becomes really upset, crying about something. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to throw some death in his eye. Think about what happened to her mother. Um, yeah, if you go <laughs> inside her, the area where she reads books to the Lumos, the you can pretty understand. I just progress to the game. You unlock more storybook, uh, more storybook scenes. The next time you go back and uh, 
in Rosalina's library or something. Oh, yeah, true. But yeah, basically, it tells the story of how she true was story. a young, also, I think, like, a princess, too. I'm not so sure, but how she also ruled the galaxies over the comic observatory and stuff. And then basically, she cries, and she feels a little bit Very sad so until slime, the Luma starts to side cheer up. That was actually sweet, because the Luma stars are always there to cheer her up. They even call Rosalina. We got Ted comment with $5. My waifu is Mei Mei from Jujutsu Kaisen. This guy looks like... <laughs> This guy looks like that Patrick Star in real life picture. Good God, you guys are foul. A mama. Are you normal? No, I'm not making this up. They You're say that in the game. Up? I am not making this up. On God? On but basically, God? I will treat Rosalina really, really well. And even after the game is over, I will still treat her well. May yeah. go with her, her well. in a comic store to exploring the stars and galaxies. May have a good time. Heck, maybe we even get a chance to meet Mario at some point. Oh, Same yeah. one of the galaxies. Nice. Even Super Mario Galaxy 2, she also appears on Mario's star ship thing. Galaxy, I don't know what it's called. It's the hub world, of course. Like, once you complete the, the perfect galaxy or whatever it's called. But like I said, I would treat Rosalina... This really is what Nintendo does to a motherfucker, man. Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is a life of only playing games on Nintendo consoles right here. Well, and basically, me and her basically, could talk about all kinds of things. Stars, the galaxies, and also yeah. what foods Rosalina eats. Of course, we all know she doesn't eat stars. Uh, Victor Martinez with $1. Is there a discount uh, if I buy the monthly N-Word Pass in bulk? So you can get the yearly pass, and you can save upwards of $18 that year. So, man, when I get memberships, uh, I should have them, but I, I, I have too many uh, ineligible streams because I keep playing music because I'm dumb. But <laughs> when I do get memberships, I really am going to have to uh, have an N-Word uh, pass. N-Word game pass logo is one of them. Uh, so, yeah, $89 for the year. You can say it as much as you want. But once you stop paying, you get stopped out. Otherwise, it's $9.99 a month. Star bets, because star bets are actually Luma. But if you want to use it on multiple devices, your computer, your phone, and a console, that's $16.99 a month. Plus favorite food. That's called N-Word Pass Ultimate. Okay? That's N-Word Pass Ultimate. You can, you can even share your N-Word Pass with a friend. It's... Kind of thing of it. I wonder if Lumos could actually make... A cake with the star bits. DD6 does They make it more so it doesn't like, you know, like if I try to eat um, a star bit on a, on a galaxy sized cake, like. <laughs> I want to see if I can King Ollie DD, DD6 in that, like, surely my speed beam versus a gigantic version of uh, SSG. Bowser mentioned. They have to make sure it's not too hard, but rather it tastes really good at star bits. Most of these aren't even him talking about the waifu. He's just talk. He's just yapping on, on fucking. Uh... <laughs> oh shit! Oh, he means Riku from FF10. Okay, all right. He ain't gay. He ain't gay. Not not gay. Not never. But yeah, let's not talk about that. But yeah, but I'll yeah. treat Rosalina well and basically uh, well, made her go on amazing adventures with the Lumas. So yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Dad. Next one. All right. All right, then. All right, then. Basically. Basically. All right, then. Basically. Number... What number was it? Let's see. Number eight. Of course. Dog, you're too deep. You're too deep in. All right, we got to hear him talk about Riku. Oh. Oh, man. We got to skip through his wife. Of course. They get is heat. Riku. From Final Fantasy X. Or well, Star, you don't work for Niggastoff. You don't work for... For <laughs> Nigga Vision <and> Blizzard. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That's our business model. I'm trying to make a bag. I'm sorry. Or Ted. No, not Rico from Kingdom Hearts. Or you guys. You think I actually kind of like the boy version? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I could never. Amethyst Rose with 199. As a queer chick, I'll steal DD6 girl Rosalina. And an imp face at the end. Well, uh, good luck. Good luck. He's he's quite quite hung up on her. So, uh, yeah, good luck. Shit. 
And then Ted comment with two dollars. This guy has a preceding hairline. <laughs> yeah, it might as well be working its way down to his brow. Holy shit! I'm telling you, he's the missing link. This is Sasquatch if he had a YouTube channel. Not that stupid, okay? No, not Riku with one K. The other Riku with two Ks. Okay. There she is. There she is. Keep that in mind. Anyways. <laughs> he got so heated. Uh, he's like, I am not gay. I swear to God. All right. We'll 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 go to Rouge. We'll go to Rouge. I'm seeing people asking me for Rouge because we're not going to spend a ton of time on here. Oh, actually, we got to look at... He talks about talk. Oh, oh, no. No, that's not good. That's not good. That is that is not good. Toph ba that ain't good, dog. That ain't good. This is like a a child child. How old's Toph? Chat, how old's Toph? Is she is Toph fucking like eight? Is Toph like eight or nine years old? Oh no. So <laughs> Ah, no, 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 we ain't skipping top, baby. We ain't skipping top. This is, oh, shit, 12. Okay. St <laughs> oh, no, no. This is the guy who wants to hang out with kids all the time. Oh, Christ. Bay Fong. Yes. Oh. Just like the other characters, Tom oh, Bay Fong also be good, Tom Boy sometimes, but also like, or Tom Girls, I don't know how to pronounce it. But whatever, doesn't matter what I what I say, Top A Fong is freaking hot and basically yeah. oh. 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 oh we gotta run that shit back. Thank you, Jester, for telling me to not skip this. What I say, Top A Fong is freaking hot. And oh fuck. Uh it's just cartoons! It's just cartoons! And basically... I like her earthbending moves. Heck, if she was real... Uh, basically I'm a sex offender, basically. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting punched. I, would, I wouldn't mind her... Oh my fucking god. Alright. Alright, listen and listen here. You fucking egg-shaped Dr. Robotnik-looking, crusty-ass, claymation-looking, big motherfucker. This is a child you're talking about. You fucking hobgoblin. How dare you? This shit is so gross. <laughs> this fucking nigga. This straight up sweet potato looking ass nigga saying this shit. Good God. Good God. People, this is this absolute rotund hobgoblin. This Katamari Damacy looking ass nigga saying this shit. Good luck. Down, down horrendous, down, down deplorable. Punching my elbow, you know, <laughs> with her fist, if that's okay. Just like she did in Book 3 Fire during that episode. He built like the uh, asylum demon. The Ember Isle players, the way how she punched <laughs> Keep Zuko. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. The now the, the floodgates are open. He just said Toph was hot audibly. That's so, so disgusting. Yeah, Eggman's actually based. He just, he just resembles Eggman. Uh, Joey T. Raccoon with 199. This is the boomer from Live for Dead before the infection. Factually. Shoulder? Is this how she shows, shows affection? Like, show her, her affection Ooh. to people. So if she did that to me, I wouldn't mind, but... Down a part of it. too much of it. So, yeah. <laughs> down, Anyways. Down catastrophic. If Top Bayfon was real, I wouldn't mind letting her teach me about earthbending skills. And oh, yeah? basically, you wouldn't like last that? time, if she actually likes to go on a date with people, I wouldn't mind taking her out. On a date, if she was real. I'll show her a good time and basically, oh. you know, learn about. More. You're gonna, you're gonna show the the child a good time. <laughs> you fucking greeting. Or but more about earth bedding stuff. <laughs> we love that. Very weird. I don't like, like, I don't like her outfit. Um, during Book Three Fire, when she uh, Book Three Fire when. Vacheron, uh, what? That's a that's a pass. <laughs> she wears that Fire Nation outfit. She looks even way hot than in her earth. Oh no. No, he just keeps going. He keeps going, chat. We're betting off of, but it doesn't. He called. All right, people are calling next. Gwen Tennyson. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. Sam from Danny Phantom. Oh no. Uh, Shitcock big peep owner with four ninety nine. The boulder over his conflicted feelings, <laughs> and now he's ready to bury you in a rock avalanche. Uh, the boulder. 
doesn't know what to do with this hard drive, so the boulder needs to move to a different city. No, I like both outfits, but one is... T-Bar, she is a child. She is a child. This character is a child. She's the youngest character in the main cast. She is a child. Amethyst Rose with 199. I don't know who's worse, Ben the Looney or this guy. I'm gonna... Ugh. It's, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. It's better. I say the Fire Nation ones. Really cool. And the Earth, ben, the Earth, the Earth, the Earth, um, bending outfit is pretty cool as well. The Earth Nation outfit. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but yes. And of course, the I wouldn't laugh. mind her call. I wouldn't mind if she calls me Twinkle to uh, Twinkle Toast Number Two. Oh fuck! Stop! Stop! Because that's that's how she calls everybody by her cute name, and also mostly Ang, of course. Yeah. She usually calls Ang Twinkle Toast. So. That probably that probably make me twinkle toast number two. Oh, oh man. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I have fucking influenza hearing this shit. The laugh, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like. Talk oh, ah. Oh. I can't wait for him to call me out. I don't want to be a part of this smoke, but he doesn't want smoke with me. <laughs> he doesn't want to hear the Sega, the Sonic Sega rap. Off. And I would consider her as a wife if she was real. So yeah. Oh, On man. to the next one. <laughs> okay, so basically this one is a number four character. So, and she's from the Sonic Adventure games. Uh, I think Adventure Two, and also later for the, and also later on as. A playable character in other Sonic games as well, and basically I had to choose carefully which one, which one of these will be my waifu character. Oh, and that's not good because there are only so many women in the Sonic franchise. That's not that's not a good thing to say. For for the people who compared him to Guptil, don't slander Dylan like that. Don't slander our boy Guptil. He's got a heart of gold. All right, he's totally sincere. He's a complete sweetheart compared to this monster. So yeah, number this four creature. is of course, of course, Rouge the Bat. His cuddle bat. His cuddle bat. No, really, I had to choose no, her really. instead. Yes, she's from the she's from the video, video game yeah, cartoon Sonic X, and, and she also appears, and she also makes her first appearance in Sonic Adventure 2 as a new character. The reason why I picked Rouge the Bat. From Sonic X and also the Sonic games. Why did I like this? It's because, well... Oh, I think I liked this recently. Let me, uh, let me unlike that. Sorry about that. I either clicked it mistakenly, or I clicked it while I was compiling stuff. So, yeah, I... And, and this is also a re-upload, I think. Oh. She likes to steal jewelries and stuff, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Don't try and That's what makes me, her Greg. special about Bruce Bash. She's also a jewel thief, too. Of course, I'm not going to be like her, but rather I could just do like some missions for her while we're doing this together. And basically, that's what I like about Rouge the Bat, you know? She's. Yeah, at least Rouge is an adult, technically. <laughs> beautiful. She's. I don't know what you guys say, guys. She's also freaking hot and sexy. I'm going to. I, I stay commissioning Mimi to to keep on saying stuff as the Rouge the Bat. I'm sure I'm going to ask her to thank him for saying that she was hot and sexy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he would be Rouge's pay pig. Mm, bring me gems, piggy. But I love Simp Slash. That's what makes Rouge the Bat so special. Yeah. And even like people are going to say like her jiggly things. I'm not going to say it. You guys don't talk about her, but one of her body parts. But man, oh, that's the line. That's the line that you don't want to cross. You talked about a child previously, and that's the line you're not going to cross: breasts, boobs, tits, melons, chesticles, front butt, sweater cows, milkers. Come on, nigga. I just can't get. I just can't get enough Kitty. of her. But that's what makes Rusa Bat special. This groomer. You know? Especially when she goes on an amazing adventure. This groomer is the child enjoyer. ...and stuff. Yeah, I would consider her as a waifu. 
I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't mind marrying her if she was real as well. And of course, I wouldn't mind marrying the other characters I mentioned before earlier. Film, you've missed a lot, brother. You have missed a lot. So, yeah. Um, I'll give you the, the quick rundown. Is This man has confessed to liking several minors. <laughs> and and I don't, mean, I don't mean, like, innocently. I mean, just outright saying that they're hot and stuff. Uh, very upsetting. Now he's talking about how he wants to have sex with Rooch the Bat. We watched a video of Rouge the Bat talking to him that Mimi and I made. And that's pretty well it. Yeah. But like I said, that's what makes Rouge the Bat special. Don't slander Guptil. She's freaking hot. She goes on amazing adventures. And basically, well, what, what else can I say? Except She's Rouge. She's the bat. Rouge. The Bat. But yeah, I even like her theme song as well. <laughs> Rouge Internet so yeah. Bat. In the end, though, Rouge the Bat will always be my number four waifu character of all time. The drinks are on me, Roosh. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, fuck. You're gross. <laughs> Bring me gems. <laughs> all right. Next one. The bottle. At the number three spot, we have a character from Persona 5. I have to choose. <laughs> who to, I have oh, to choose no. carefully who to choose to be a waifu character. Don't drink see. anything he gives you. I was going to say Anta Kamaki, or maybe Makoto, uh, Nijima, or oh. Haru o Okumura. These people always like Makoto for some reason. Makoto's so boring and annoying. And she's also, you know, 16. But basically, there's actually one character I like the most because she's actually uh, a computerist. But like, she's on the computer sometimes. Basically, she still has to play video games as I do. She's a gamer like me. She's a gamer like me. What am I talking about, you ask? I'm talking about another other than Futaba Soccer. This bitch smells so bad. I said it before, I'll say it again. This bitch nasty. She crusty as hell. You would not want to date a hikikomori like Futaba Sakura. She's gross. She is gross. She lives like a fucking cretin. She lives like a demon, man. She's got energy drinks all around her. She is gross. Sakura. Yeah. The reason why I like Futaba Sakura is because, well, I know people are going to say in the concept, like, she may be a nerd or something. You can call her nerd, a nerd all you want, but at the end... I like the idea of Sojiro being like, ah, Futaba, so you're dating that obese adult man. <laughs> I still consider Futaba Sakura as a waifu to me, okay? I like her hair, I like her glasses she wears, and... She also she's also funny most of the times. So and she's also being a computer uh, computerist, and you you can say what you wrote. She's a computer geek. I don't care. But basically, Futaba Sakura is what makes me what makes me like her so much. About you know, and she's funny. You know what we call this chat? We call this a minor threat. <laughs> Sometimes, even in Persona 5 Strikers, the game, there's a cutscene where she does when she does this with her for Persona, like and a boop. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Futaba people really do By be the like way, this. Futaba Sakura, she kind of reminds me of another character. I think she's from the Nintendo game. Oh yeah, Inkling Girl. Both both girls have the same orange. Basically, same same girl. Both both minors. <laughs> hair color. Both of them wear glasses. The only difference the only difference is that their shirt is different. Their shirt colors. So Wait, yeah. But Inkling doesn't wear glasses. That's like. Their, uh, her weird like uh, eyeliner or something. I don't know. I don't know. I've never played Splatoon. I, I I play like three games and they're all not Splatoon. I just play S and T games and Armored Core mostly and Third Strike. But it's hard for me to compare these two. I'll let you guys decide. You know, how do you compare from these two, from Futaba Sakura to Inkling Girl? I all right. This is my bias, but don't let people like this dissuade you from playing Persona. The games are good. The games are very good. Don't let this man destroy it for you. So yeah, Futaba Sakura, I will always oh, consider you as a waifu. No questions asked, and that's why. He is always squinting because the density of his forehead and his cheeks are applying great pressure to his eyes, so much so that he cannot open them widely. Why? Because he is a big potato man. He is a large orb. 
He is a Dragon Quest slime looking ass nigga. White glint to be hot. Facts. That is not an enemy next. That's my next boyfriend. You will always will be my favorite character of all time from the Persona 5 series. Play and Persona just like 2 what you like to do. Well, I like to do. You like to play Sapphire, video games as yes, much as I do. Yes, yes, Well, I don't play video games like yes. I used to, but still, I consider you as the best character ever from Persona 5. 100%, Randy. Uh, Persona 5 was a mistake. It is... I mean, it's extremely popular. One, one thing I want to say is that Persona 5 is probably to Persona what Final Fantasy VII was to Final Fantasy. And I'm sure plenty of, like, classic FF fans from the 90s felt the same way about FF7 changing everything about the direction of their franchise. Uh, I'm so unhappy that Persona 3 Reload is just Persona 5 if it was 3. But I'll reserve judgment once I play it, get mad, and then replay FES instead. No questions asked. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get to the next one. Number two. Star, that's fair. That's fair. A lot of cartoon characters, especially in anime, are minors. Uh, the Japanese anime thing is that a lot of Japanese people idolize high school because it's kind of the last bastion of their personal life before they enter the workforce. So they have a, a big romanticization of high school, right? But even still, I will say this, a lot of cartoon characters are not minors as well. There are plenty of cartoon characters who are not children, who if you're inclined this way, you can be into them or whatever. Um, you, you don't have to be infatuated with minors because of some sort of bizarre limitation. Just find characters who aren't fucking 15. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Majin <laughs> Minors. Oh, boy. There was, like, so many characters I had to choose from the Xeno series as a waifu. Originally, for so cool. Chronicles X, I was going to put Lin as a waifu character, but apparently... Average, uh, average stupid hater. Uh, okay. It, I don't know if... Oh, Sticks the Badger! <laughs> Cosmos? Let me to unlock her as a playable part. All right, we gotta we gotta get to his number one. We got we'll go through his honorable mentions. Cosmos is just because he likes robot titty. That would be awesome. Hi Mimi, you did a great job. Everyone laughed. Everyone was so happy. Chat, can you be really nice to Mimi for being so funny and cool and having a pretty voice? Hi Mimi. Hashtag bring Cosmos back in to the series. I don't know. Audacious CNO with 149. Thank you so much. Uh, that is going right into the Tekken 8 fund. People, if you can spare anybody, I live in Canada. Our video games cost $90 here. If you can spare any shekels, it's greatly appreciated. I want to play Tekken 8. And by the way, people say her name wrong. They always say like, like Cosmos or Cosmos, whatever. It's Cosmos! It's Cosmos. Cosmos! Can you get her name right? Her name is Cosmos, not Cosmos! I swear to God. He, bro is so fucking furious about the mispronunciation of a Xeno Saga character's name. Christ. Seriously! But people are, are always gonna mispronounce her name, and that's fine. But like I said, Cosmos will always will be a great character of all time from the Xeno Saga series, and as a playable character in Xeno Blade Chronicles 2. No questions asked. No questions asked. But yeah. Caveman Angie. Sorry, Caveman sorry Angie. I was yelling, but these are my opinions. Anyways, let's Quite get to the right, next Mimi. one. Okay, so we're finally, get, we're finally going to get to the number one spot. It's actually another Nintendo character. Oh, but what a surprise. Before we get to what the number one spot, my favorite number one pick waifu character of all time. Okay, lay it on us. Here are some few Honorable mentions. I also want to consider Sticks the Badger as a waifu character. Oh, what a famous last words. 
Uh, I could I could take to the open waters because uh, holy fuck I I hate this stupid guts. Like last time, she's also tomboyish. She has a great. She also holds that boomerang a lot and as sure. a weapon, her trainer weapon. It was actually amazing. And you can call me crazy all you want, but I like Sticks the Badger because she's from Sonic Boom. I, I like her design. She kind of reminds me of Marina Raccoon a little bit from the Sonic series. But that's what makes her special. In fact, I still yeah. consider Sticks the Badger as a waifu as well. A furry waifu. And of course, I also want to consider... Uh, the wonderful Hydra Spectre, a fellow Tails fan, is saying, Sticks is 10! <laughs> Sticks is 10! <laughs> Okay. Oh, she's 16? Because Sonic pretty much uh, doesn't, doesn't care about that ain't much better. this character a lot, I have to say. Amy Rose. Does Amy Sonic Rose? care about Amy Rose? Mostly times Amy Rose just chases him, but basically Sonic completely ignores her. I'm asexual, Amy. I'm asexual. <laughs> Duke with 1999. Go freaking game, my fellow gamer. Well, thank you so much, Duke. That's greatly appreciated. God, you guys are the best. I am going to cop that copy of Tekken 8 today at this rate. I love you guys. I, I know what you guys are going to say in the cost of like, oh, Amy Rose, he, she's nothing more than a, a useless or basically annoying character. I mean, have no fear Amy Rose is here, but Sonic's based for going like, uh, no way, thought. <laughs> annoying character or not. Just I still feel bad for Amy Rose. Rose. In fact, if she had a crush on other boys besides Sonic, like maybe a human person... Like that like one episode me? with the uh, with the uh, Chris Dornick's uh, uncle. What's his name? Speed Sam. I don't know. Uncle Sam, whatever. If that's his name. Yeah, Sam. Um, that's actually that'll be amazing. Fake Sonic fan doesn't even know the name of a ancillary character from Sonic X. Fringe. No, but you know, I wouldn't mind going on dates <laughs> with Amy Rose most of the time. We gotta make we gotta make the SSG playlist. Yeah, it would be seventeen by Wigger. Uh, child. Yeah, children. Um, what's that? What's that fucking song by Tyga? Uh, stimulated by Tyga, where he's talking about a sixteen-year-old little girls by Oingo Boingo. Uh, the list goes on. Uh, Hey Eighteen by Steely Dad. <laughs> it would be a good playlist. It would be a good minor grooming playlist for this guy. Times, if she was real as well. In fact. I hate it how people treat her like complete utter guards, especially when it comes to fan base. Guptil crushed it. She didn't do nothing really to you guys. Guptil. And you consider Amy Rose as an annoying character? Based you on say she Sam. actually sucks? In the words of Reggie fils -Mey, what's wrong with you? <laughs> In the words of Reggie fils -Mey, who would probably say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm joking, but seriously, please, don't Kelly spread song. hateful... The entirety of Age Ain't Nothing But a Number by R. Kelly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head of of groomer bangers that <laughs> you could add to this. Best this song. Playlist. Most hateful things about Amy Rose just because she's been created by Sega. We need at least a female version, you know, of you know, for the songs here, like the Pink Hedgehog. In fact, I would treat Amy Rose better. Unlike Sonic, who doesn't treat her good. She do, he does nothing but ignore her. I mean, he still saves her most of the time, but I would do my best to protect her as well. White EDP. Amy Rose, if it was real, I would... Uh, basically, I actually was here for a cupcake. Protect basically. you and I would treat you better as well. I hate how Sonic keeps ignoring you most of the times. Seriously. And then he just talks to somebody, My Sharona, 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 as a foul. waifu. Just foul. Of course, because I like Amy Rose too. You know how great it would be like if these characters are actually real in real life? It would be awesome to hang out with them. Yeah, sorry, Amy. I'm asexual. Um, you know? <laughs> well, it's hard to say. But yeah. Amy Rose is still one I of the best characters I hope that Cypher features big game, Amy. I don't play as her most of the times, but I still consider her as a playable character and also a waifu to me. So yeah. You gotta treat the ladies with respect, you know? Yeah, I like that that Beach Boys song where they talk about Makoto from Street Fighter Three. All right, we gotta. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this 
<laughs> oh, this man killing me with the taste. <laughs> because she has a big, well, you know, a body part. Basically, her, um, basically. Chat. Chat, witness this. Chat, witness this. Chat. Chat, witness this shit. All right, number one. Come on. All right. Make it a banger. We finally get to our number one fair waifu character of all time. And originally, it's going to include only one per franchise, but I decided to include two Nintendo waifu characters instead of just one. So I had to include it. A super heavy weapons guy. Good to see you. This guy is 28 years old as of this video. He's probably closer to 29 or 30 now. This is the last one. Number one is a character from Fire from the Fire Emblem series. Now I know what you're going to ask. Is it actually that character named Charlotte or something? If, is that, if that's her name? No, it's not her. Come is on, it Hinoka? adult. Come on, adult. It's not her either. And please, for goodness sake... No, I don't sake. consider Violet as a, a female version of a waifu. Have I seen Tamers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? I have two streams of me and Depreston watching Tamers, and uh, we're going to have a third one down the line. I am a, I am a Tamers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mega fan, if such a thing could exist. I'm a huge fan of Tamers. Though she's part of your mentions, I'll consider her that. But it's not Violet. It's actually a sexy hot girl who can wheel an axe, and oh, she okay. flies on a and she flies on a fire breathing dragon. Oh, okay. And she's from Nor, the Norian Kingdom. Number one is, that's right, Camilla. Oh from man. From Fire Emblem Fates and also fire, from Fire, fire Emblem Warriors as well. Fire My emblem. God, just look at her! Look at her! Look at her! Look at her! Hi. Damn, bitch, you looking bad. God damn. What? Oh, shit, you got a dragon, bitch? Okay, I see you. I see you, girl. Okay, shit. Hair, it's like her hair is really hot and it's beautiful. It's 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 amazing. Any like Fire I said emblem, earlier. Any Fire Emblem chads in chat? How how old is she? Is she an adult? I, I don't know anything about Fire Emblem. She looks like an adult. Just like the other curse I mentioned, I consider this one as a wife, okay? Trust me. So that's that's what two adults out of ten. Good lord, give me give me one second. You know you know what happens during brain streams. You know what happens on the brain stream. Brain's got to piss, dog. Brain's got to piss, and then I gotta get a beverage, and then we're gonna dive into some more SSG. I will be right back, chat. I will be right back. We can't go a single brain stream without a nigga pissing. We can't. We can't. I've tried it. I have tried it. I'm about to get the catheter. I will not piss my pants, thank you very much. I'm not gonna piss my pants. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. We gotta we gotta have some here where it's like <laughs> Braid's Braid's not taking a multiple pee breaks because his bladder is small tier. We gotta get someone to go. I will give you three hundred dollars to not pee for the stream. <laughs> Zesty pee. Is that SDP? <laughs> I show up my bladder a good time. Okay, chat. Christ. 
<laughs> Levy lives. Levy lives. I've been a fan of of Camilla ever since Fire Emblem Fates came out. And when I heard Nintel were, was Joe making Ryder a female character Ryder? version of Camilla, okay, I was like, holy sure. crap. Like, holy crap. Like, I was like, what the heck? This, this is user, amazing. This user is the P taker. To be honest, the reason why, I, uh, the reason why I always cho chose Nor in Fire, on Fire Emblem Fates is because, well, I like her looks. <laughs> I like her looks and... Three hundred dollars, P list stream. <laughs> you can look at her. You know what, Jake's whatever. I don't want to talk about, but oh, fifty bucks to kiss my pants. She makes no, me, I have dignity. She makes you want to go crazy. I'm not dignity, crazy, but she thank makes you. me. Um, what's that? I will piss my pants for five hundred dollars. <laughs> I no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opening up that floodgate. I'm not getting. I'm not getting down to that shit. Word again. It's like she makes him want to want to go to be like a simp person. This but user is it's not the stream that. joiner. But Camilla is actually a perfect this choice user for the number the one spot. And I don't care if people say, "Oh, Camilla is also nothing. She may be a calm person, but she also likes to go psychotic too." What? Don't tell me that he deleted his channel. He has a second channel. I tried. I actually tried checking it today. So. I would be so shocked if he deleted his channel. I'd be so upset. He knew. He knew that the that the uh, the Brains Kingdom, the Super Brains Kingdom, was hot on this trail. He knew. He knew, Doug. Pissing the trash can like a pro. I can never live up to that example. That's my big brother. That's Uncle Pro. That's Drunkle Pro. Guys, we're talking Camilla here. She's not psychotic. She doesn't go, yeah, dare like the other characters. No. Camille's actually calm, but when she says she wants to like hurt somebody, all she has to do is basically talk to the Nor person, maybe Corin, and let him or her know if she. My my desk is covered in full Snapple bottles. It's all all pee, bottom to top, baby. Wants to take care of them, but for this case, I'll tell Camille, no, don't hurt, don't hurt any enemies. You guys, you guys are not going to be laughing. Like one of these streams, I'm just going to go like. Hey guys, so uh, turns out I have a urinary condition. Uh, my doctor said that I only have a couple of weeks left, and I just want to say thank you for everything. It's going to be a black screen. You guys aren't going to laugh when that shit happens, okay? All right. <laughs> Five hundred dollar piss pants stream. <laughs> Even if we fight the enemies in your world, but in my world. Please treat them with respect. I and Camilla you, will also accept it. Whatever she gets orders for me, because even though I don't like to give her orders, but she wouldn't mind. But like I said, I like Camilla. B, I could sell those for fifty a piece. All right, fifty dollars for um for some gamer boy dick water. <laughs> All right, we we know that Camilla's a baddie or whatever. We'll briefly watch this. Doom and I watched this, but we, we got to revisit it. And then we'll get to the yelling, okay? Get to the yelling. I've been to a doctor. He said I'm fine. <laughs> Fucking hell, B. <laughs> I've actually had this checked out. He just says beer goes through me fast. Uh, Baneblade with uh, is uh, 300 Icelandic kroner. This streamer is the sink pisser. <laughs> Guys, we have a new enemy, a pee 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 boy named Black Brains. <laughs> no, we're. I'm sorry, we're we're in the cut set. We're in the cut set. Record scratch, my man. 1959 to 2015, like, not, uh, you know, definitely died too young, but, like, it's not, like, shocking that he passed away from a condition at that age. I mean, R.I.P. Satoru Iwata, but, like, this is not how he would want to be remembered. Iwata-san! Iwata-san! Fake cry. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. I have to look it up. 
Let's see. I believe in him. That's that's one of my favorite chibi moments. Is just the I believe in miracles. <laughs> We got thigh shots, baby. Okay. So, like, yeah, it, this is an extremely poor taste. Satoru Iwato was a, a beloved figure in video game history. His achievements were plentiful. He created the blueprint for Nintendo moving forward. He was a remarkable man in every aspect of his career. That's, that's how you eulogize this brilliant mind in video games who was probably eulogized as such at his funeral among his friends and his colleagues. You don't rage like a man-child because a video game man you didn't know anything about and you didn't know passed away. All right? Even as a landmark figure, you didn't fucking know the guy, and you're punching your pillow because Nintendo Game Man died? Imagine how his family felt. Imagine how his closest friends and his co-workers felt in the wake of his passing. And they probably took every moment to spend time with Iwata and to recognize his brilliance and the, all the intimate small moments that they shared with him. And his legacy to these fucking Americans is Nintendo Wii Banana Man. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Brick Knight, in the immortal words of JC, uh, he wasn't a businessman, he was a business, comma, man. Beautiful. <laughs> After he wanted to check out his <laughs> This is in such poor days to immediately cut into Mario going, oh, no! Oh, he wants to die! No, no! It's like a, a man with a storied career passes away. Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking game over. Uh, yeah, I I know. Uh, I think I think Doom said something about this. That this is clearly from a, like a porn uh, video or like a porn piece of art with the blush, with the eyes. Mario's about to suck a dick here, man. Mario's about to get down with the bows here, man. The sus Mario image. So Sandro we want to die. I never thought I would say this. Undoubtedly, this, Boda. Undoubtedly, this actually Boda. pissed a lot of fans off. And I mean, seriously. A lot of fans who are a Nintendo fan and play all, all those awesome games. Including online games are really cool. Wait, wait, hold up. Did, did I get some Streamlabs donos that I missed? Um, Victor Martinez with $10. It's not much, but go get your video game brains. Thank you, Victor. Thank you so much, buddy. It's greatly appreciated. Did you say B? I'm gonna take your wrench away, you fucking creature. What? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? This? This is what I didn't expect to see. Just B, a few days ago. Delete that. Well, let's just say. 
Mr. Iwata, Satoru Iwata, has Iwata passed away at the age of 55. Brick. And he s says something about, um, what was it called? A bile duct growth. Duct, duct growth. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah. It was kind of painful or something. I mean, maybe if maybe if you're going to cover the man's untimely death, you would learn about his condition, you you fucking ogre. I never Get knew out of my this slot. happened just now. And I mean, you know, Satoru oh. Iwata, he's been like, you know, as the president of Nintendo Japan since the 90s. And you know, I've I have much respect for Mr. Iwata, you know, where he do 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 all kinds of those Nintendo Direct, which is okay. I just do I just didn't understand what happened now. <laughs> See, here's what honestly this does this does sound like a child eulogizing someone. Why are there so many dents in his head? I mean, multiple attempts at putting an end to this guy, I guess. Oracle says. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're losing your wrench, B. Christ. You're talking about Mario? He's an icon. It says something, Get Jeff. In, two, in 2014, Nintendo announced that Iwata would not be present at E3 2014 due to medical related re reasons. It was later revealed that he yeah, was Mario undergoing surgery on for a yeah, tumor in a bile duct on July 13, 2000. Well, let's pronounce it wrong. Oh. You see, gamers are like onions. <laughs> on July 13, 2014, Nintendo <laughs> announced that Iwata died on July 11, 2015 due to the bile... Why is this so hard for him to read? Due to the bile growth. Due to the bile growth. Dog, read a fucking book. Maybe if you didn't focus on Pac-Man World, you could read a goddamn book. Uh, oh, shit! Person WC DAT, aka the homie Sean, with $30, over 100 watchers, being too long. Glad to see you thriving. Lots of love. Thank you, homie. I miss you, buddy. Hit up my DMs. I miss you, homie. Great to see, great to hear from you, and thank you for the generous donation. Duck That's slime. Rough. That is slime right there. But yeah, I mean. I've been a huge fan of Nintendo since the 90s and the early 2000s. Like, it's crazy how little this guy actually knows about Iwata's career. I'm not a Nintendo guy or something, but it's like, do some research. Learn about the man. Learn about the person he was beyond some fucking video games. He's probably a, a wonderful man, a great father, a great husband. And he's eulogized by people who look like cave trolls. Tragic. I mean... I this don't understand what's been going on throughout throughout these all these years of Nintendo. Now I know Nintendo's doing great so far because they're listening to their fans and all, but that's besides the point. I mean, when I was looking at Stash Bros's YouTube channel, he, Stash Bros was doing a hangout, and what just happened is that a lot of people posted a comment saying about Mr. Iwata passing away, and. A lot of Maybe. fans say it cannot be true or something. He doesn't and unsquint, Alan. I just don't understand how that I mean, happened. I mean, this. seriously. I, I mean, this. I've been a huge fan of Satoru Iwata since he was the Nintendo of Japan as a president. And I look at him the now, Nintendo. he couldn't. Yeah. He didn't make it to E3 yeah. this year because of his undergoing surgery. The doctors told him to not go to E3 this year, and he listened. But, <laughs> man, it's just kind of sad when... Holy when fuck! The Nintendo president, the former Claw, Claw, my man. Oh shit! Holy fuck! Shout out, shout out, Deadwing Dork in the chat. Uh, he does hate modern rare. Hey, why are your pants green, dog? Okay, why are your pants green? Can we address that shit? He is a a bachelor of opinions, and uh, he doesn't like Sea of Thieves, which is the only good game rare is made in years. Shit, man. Thanks for joining, Claw. Holy fuck. My man, my man. <laughs> Nintendo, a president Japan. What's this? A curse? Pass away. I mean, what the? What is this? My man. But yeah, a lot of fans Father are paying a tribute to Satoru Iwata. You know, because I'm a huge fan of Satoru Iwata. And, and, and if he was still alive. You aren't a huge fan of Satoru Iwata. You're a huge fan of fucking video games. You didn't know anything about the goddamn guy. 
it's it's evident that you don't care about the man or his contributions you you just uh you're a banjo ripoff clearly clearly <laughs> those pants are supposed to be yellow <laughs> uh it's like that's you know i'm not trying to say like you have to simp for someone but it's like he didn't know anything about the fucking guy you just enjoyed some stuff that he greenlit he didn't even know about his contributions as a video game designer you you you're just you, you, uh, like the only thing you're deriving from this guy's career is that he is nintendo man and i like nintendo you fucking hobgoblin right now he would listen to the fans more often and he would you know give Chat the fans what they want clock. now the homie. i just That's don't understand homie. i mean come on at least, at least stay in the cut <sighs> yeah a lot of fans were like posting comments on youtube and you know i have yeah, to agree with them satoru team. want to die at the age 55 seriously wonder how everybody else is going to react to this and in case you guys don't know who satoru wanted he's going <laughs> to we were we were talking about that claw. Um, like the chibi thing is is special on a different level. This is this is a man who's just grossly incompetent. Where like the chibi thing is so deliberate. I think the chibi thing will forever be more embarrassing. And uh, yeah, he he really he really sang right out his nose. I'm leaving. Nintendo of Japan, the president of the Nintendo of Japan, and he just dies just like that. I mean, yeah, he dies at like age fifty-five five. due to uh, failure, and I want—I don't want to say it, but oh shit, Amethyst Rose with one ninety-nine last, my last dono before my next check. Love your work. Well, thank you so much, Amethyst Rose. Greatly appreciated. Dang it! I mean, this is horrible. This is horrible I mean, that Satoru wanted to pass me. away, and this is you know, dead wing I'm a huge talking fan. To. Of Satoru Wata. I mean, I just, he I just don't understand. He rats, Deadwing. He rats. Seriously. What, we know. What the heck? But yeah, it is what it is, and we gotta move on. But yeah. Also, I'm, I'm really excited about this new game coming out. Um, you can't by Games, they're my announcing a new game friend. called Yuga Lele or something. I'll explain that in the next video. I believe but <laughs> I, what it is. All right, I'm sorry. We gotta we gotta pull up the chibi. All right, chibi interlude, and then we're probably gonna go to something else anyway. So it's all good. Uh, chibi Iwata funeral. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. All right. There we go. While his life maybe may have been cut short, the 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 worst part is like this is actually quite somber. Before. <laughs> He gets to the singing part. Oh shit, that's good to know, Deadwig. Thank you. <laughs> they can't even fucking handle this shit. I believe the morning sun. <laughs> My son would like to play a Bleach AMV at this funeral. Thank you. Always gonna shine again. Oh, fuck. I believe <laughs> a pot of gold waits at every rainbow's end. <laughs> it's, it's, this is like the the tone deafness of not realizing how fucking it how in poorer taste this is with Iwata in the background too oh god it's <laughs> I believe I'm dying man roses kiss with no auto tune no background checks I believe the same in you <laughs> Yeah, we gotta we gotta put the future filter on the source. I believe a miracle. I believe a miracle. Oh shit. Oh, all right, all right. We gotta get off the Awada kid. Hey, we we get it. The man was brilliant. All right, the man was brilliant. But we got kids to yell at. What is going on, everybody? How y'all doing? This is the Sonic Say Gamer, and I am back with another rant video. Now, Quite like well. I said.
This will be my last rap video because basically I can't deal with people who are getting on my nerves on VR chat. So yeah, and today. Oh, he's bad. He's bad. He's. Are 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 you talking about SSG or are you talking about um, Chibi? Because Chibi's singing is is just downright terrible. I think if you learn technique, he's got an okay voice. Uh, like he's he's got like an autism voice where it's all like a flat register. But I'm sure he could explore his range. But you know, at the same time, he's probably veering into his 30s, and he's a generally untalented man. So I don't know if he's ever going to thing at any decent level whatsoever uh the nose singing kills me it kills me man <laughs> shit I, and i've said this before to to uh he you think he could learn yeah i don't i don't know i think he's i think he's cooked but like if he applied himself if he learned some technique i think he has an okay enough speaking voice so that he could probably sing decently i don't think he could ever sing well as we speak now, since it's today is February 19th, 20, <laughs> yeah, 23. He, By the time I upload you, it'll probably be like too late, I think. Um, I'm just going to make this quick because uh, the video will probably be late as enough as it is. I don't know, I can't tell. Um, I'm going to expose three people on VR chat. And My favorite thing with the autism voice is when the T's or D's, like saying better instead of better. And if you guys have VR not to dunk on autistic people, but that's the the first, uh, like, anytime I hear a YouTube video essay and I hear Bender, I'm like, oh, shit, here we go again. Your chat account and you want to teach them a lesson, like, try not to mess with me, tell me I have to freaking change, so be it. And came on just for this one video, one time, it's going to be 18 plus only for this one video. Because after that, I don't have time to deal with these guys, like, these people. I'm about to uh, mention, your name, mention your usernames right here and right now. All right, give us the receipts, slime. He is the game, dude. <laughs> he is so rude. I like, uh, Claw. I don't, I don't know how you feel about this shit, but uh, that game, dude, theme is too tough. It's genuinely a pretty fucking good song. Out of all of the ABGN clones, he had the best intro. Oh, so yeah. So that being said, let's get straight to the point. Q intro. Hey guys, so there is a new villain, and we are going to rant on him, guys. So, take it away. We have a new user. Yeah, that, that's very true, Denwig. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, he, like, we are uh, new villains. This user is the nit. The two most okay, artistic so, fandoms. As I promised. <laughs> I love the like the soft auto focus into, into Hobie's big ass head. I'm going to expose these people. And like I said, if you have the chance, new don't villains. tell my YouTube name. Tell my username on VR Chess Song Gear fan has had enough with you guys. Because, you know, this is the reason why I can't stand people anymore. So yeah. Anyways, it's time to expose. Thank you, George Costanza666, for ranting on that user. Good job. That's who these idiots are. So, yeah. The first person I'm going to expose is goes by a VR chat username, Synctor Records. All the stars are here, baby. Now, for, for those of you guys who don't know who he is, this kid, however, be normal. No, he's, he's an African American normal. dude. And oh, shit. African American? Well, in the immortal words of uh, Kanye Omari West, I prefer. 
African American Express. To be honest, he's been getting on my nerves since day one. Keep saying me invites on beer to say, ooh, let's play Bender. Finance at Frace. Like, no, shut the fuck up, okay? Bender. I'm getting sick and tired of your shenanigans. And the moment, the moment I keep hearing him open his fucking mouth at me, he pisses me off. So guess what? Kid. There's going to be an explosion today. This user is the hip hop 808 listener. Santor Records has been nothing but a pain in my ass. He just likes to talk about his past, like how he got almost, you know what, banged by somebody. And to be honest, this piece of shit motherfucker has been getting yeah. on my nerves since day one when I first joined VR Chat. <laughs> I didn't want to join VR Chat because I'm not a PC <laughs> gamer. Oh man, oh, oh shit, I'm not ready for him to, to go, yo, I'm a slide, I'm a slide. So, I'm gonna show you his profile picture, since I'm logged into VRChat, because my VRChat account is going to, like, expire, or basically it's going to uh, delete in less than an hour. So, let's just get straight to the point. So, I'm gonna move my camera, I'll show you this. Okay, so. Okay, so this is the idiot right here, and I'm gonna try to do my best not to move the camera. All right. Uh, genuine question, what is an 808? An 808 is a bass sound from the Roland 808, which was a very common, very heavily used drum machine, which was eventually discovered for its bass frequencies. So the Roland 808 is frequently used as a bass machine rather than a drum machine, because it would have a lot of extra sub on all of the kicks. Uh, 808s in general are typically a kick with heavy sub that is used as a bass frequency and typically lifts a kick. So there's your answer. Check Discord. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Fucking Denver. <laughs> Claw wants me to, Claw wants me to show the, um, the Rouge video again. So give me, give me a millisecond here. Give me a moment. All right, give me a moment, because it's, for anyone who's joined, it's, it's very fucking funny. I, I worked quite hard to make this happen, as did the lovely Mimi, so give me, give me a moment here. You can, you can look at the funny Bran rabbit in the meantime. You can look at the hilarious Bran rabbit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Real slugaholics. Right. Hi, hon. Yeah, there we go. There we go, baby. Okay. Let me let me move this bit down here. Uh Deadwing, you better stick around for this shit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, we're running this back. We're running this back. It's too funny for anyone who missed it. Hi, honey. It's me, your lovely cuddle bat rouge. Shout out, Miss Me. You know, I'm always so happy when I can calm you down after a tough day. I know you've had so Is much on your me? mind between those trolls like Team Boy 2K7. I just want you to know you can Dance always take me to bed to hug and snuggle when you're upset about being criticized for talking to minors. When you're being bullied by that one-armed bear, or that gay cyclops, or even when your mom buys you a Nike tech fleece instead of Pac-Man World 2. I've spent all my time looking for the most beautiful gems, but you're the gem I treasure the most. I love it when your hot beefaroni breath is so pungent I can smell it on my fur all day. You're my big strong gamer boy, and I agree. Peppa Pig should be more mature, and Banjo's pants are not green. not green! Let's go to bed. I think Futaba and Kasumi are waiting there too. You can tell me all about how Ace is wrong and how it's okay to hang out with kids as a 28-year-old man. <laughs> Alright, like, I just did that for Claw specifically, but man, that was, that was a lot of fun to, to make that script, to make that shit happen. My my man, my man Deadwing Dork, that's just for you, homie. Camera too much, but I just want you to look at his name. That's his actual username on VR chat. Saint Tor Records. And he's got four numbers here. And look what his boss says. He says, Hey yo, I'm Records. I'm 14 and I'm beginning voice acting. So if it sounds bad, I'm sorry. I voice act almost any pu 
Papyrus. He is also maybe, a DDC fan, I can tell. I have abandonment well. issues, so I like to be with at least someone. Honestly, chat, if you ever need voice work, Mimi's the very best. Shout out young Mimi. Shout out the, the lovely gal, Miss Mimi. My homie, my friend, my collaborator. Appreciate you, girl. Now, his original profile used to be a Goku avatar or whatever, but this motherfucker Great has been getting on my nerves since rate. day fucking one. I'm sick of this. So this person who just likes to get on my nerves? Esmeralda, it's gonna happen. He's he's gonna get desperate. It's it's fine. He's gonna get desperate. He's gonna go, ah, 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 well, fuck, fuck it. Fuck it. Central Records, I'm gonna say straight to your fucking face, okay? Because I'm exposing you for who the hell you think you are. You piece of shit been getting you on my nerves since shit. when I first started VR chat, okay? About your whole depression, your whole you-know-what thing, and the whole say you want to hurt yourself. I feel kind of bad for you, and you did change. <laughs> but when you tried to tell me to change my fucking this life, you made it really American fucking personal. Teenager. So Central Records, I'm going to say it straight to your fucking face. Fuck you. We appreciate Go you. fuck yourself. And to be honest, you can say <laughs> this, you know, I'm just going to say this straight to your face, including your friend, sure. it's underscore Palomation. Go fuck yourselves, you piece of shit. You're you never going to break my spirit and break my damn mind. And the friends that I make on VR channel, which now I'm leaving VR channel less than an hour, you are a complete fucking idiot. Imagine getting this dunked on by a child who <laughs> pretends to be Sans, or not Sans, uh, is the other guy. I don't know. I don't know Undertale. Uh, Papyrus, yeah. Imagine getting this fucking dunked on by edgy papyrus. I'm sick of your shit. I'm and just... every time, every time I see your, every time I see you start to bother me for some reason, you just like to get on my fucking nerves. So, Sanctuary Records, you are one of the worst VR chat players ever. I hope Karma is a bitch and will come right back straight your fucking ass. So, Sanctuary Records, do us all a favor and shut your fucking mouth. I'm tired of your voice and I'm sick and tired of you saying the fucking N word. My man, my man. Nah, nah, keep saying the N-word, please, please. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga. You know, and, and fucking Rich Homie Quan, YG, my nigga remix version. Uh, Dr. Negus be wildin' with $2. I wish Mimi would cave <laughs> my skull with a rock. Uh, Mimi, how much to cave in the doctor's head with a rock? <laughs> So fuck yourself. Anyways, yeah, this is the guy right here. Originally, his 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 avatar profile mm, picture was originally man. Goku, but now he changed it to Papyrus because he's he's an Undertale fan. Good for him. But this guy has been getting on my nerves since day one. So Sinker Records, here's here's a male, male figure straight up your fucking ass. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. And I hope. You'll learn not to piss me off and not to get through my mind. You almost don't, broke my rock, don't right, my off. mind thanks to your friend. You broke his mind. Polish, which I'll get to him in a minute. So yeah. Okay, so this is a. So, <laughs> my man is really just going down the list of teenagers who bothered him. Holy shit! Another person here. Go and to be honest, himself. this guy or this kid been getting on my nerves too. I don't like his, his stupid tone with the whole hey, yeah, very dark doing? tone. But this is the guy. Shit, this is the chat. We got we got Deadwing Dork. We got Club Doom. This is the motherfucking chat. We got depressed in the cut. Do not piss him off. Uh, this is the kid right here. His name is It's Everyone is here. Pilomation. And to be honest, this piece of shit has been trying to fucking piss me. Everyone and by also here. my other VR trap fr friend, goes, in, goes by the name of Mega Major Man. I think he's also a Mega fan. Shit. Tragic when you get your mind broken by a 14 year old. And to be this honest, user is a mind can't breaker. deal with this guy anymore. This kid anymore because I was in Westopolis world in v on VR chat, and this kid just likes to get on my fucking nerves. Tell me I'm losing my insanity to vanity. Yeah, that that's uh that's an M M and M bar if I ever heard one. Shit. Uh <laughs> the gang's all here. Me that, and he was making threats to me. He was making threats to me, saying that, "Oh, if I don't actually change, or if and if I don't Thanks, choose Mega the right Man. path or the right answer, then you're gonna, you're gonna, you guys are gonna remove me from your friend list. Go fuck yourself." It's underscore yeah, mind is You dry. are a, one of the sickest fucks I ever seen. And your prof, your stuff says, hey, "You're gay." No, you're gay, you piece of shit, motherfucker. You are not gonna ruin my fucking life. And to this very day, you're gonna wish. You did not piss Little me wish. off. You almost broke my mind. No way, Jose. You almost did. You almost. Of and course. I did not listen to you.
Look, buddy, you were you were close to doing irreparable damage to my psyche, but but I came through. Okay, I came through. This fucking piece of shit is pissing me off. Very too depressed. And, uh, this is this is our caveman homie. You missed the part where he talked about all the miners he pined for. To you, so you know what? It's underscore pollination. If you got something to say to me, say it right now. But to be honest, you're not gonna say it because you're a piece of shit. So to be honest, it's underscore pollination. Karma's a bitch is coming right back at you. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit, you. motherfucker! I'm not standing shit anymore. So guys, if you want to go talk, if you guys want to go teach this motherfucker, Nick if you guys have a VR chat, go type his name. Guys, can I get a uh, a Nick or treat in the chat? And can you can you enunciate Nick or treat when you type it, please? Um, if I can get people to type in Nick or treat. <laughs> Please don't slur it together. Just, just make sure it's separate. I'll put his name on the on the video. Nick or as well as the description so that you guys can go find this asshole in VR chat. He's been getting on my nerves since day fucking one. And I want you to find this motherfucker and teach him a lesson. So yeah, it's underscore population. Go fuck yourself, guys. You're guys. never gonna break my mind, and you're never. Guys, if you can please um, antagonize this miner for me, thank you. Never gonna tell Nick me how to run my tree. fucking life, okay? So fuck off, you piece of shit. Nick, fuck no, you. no, I, I have yourself a terrible it. day. Nick Orchard. Okay, and last but not least, this guy right here. Originally, I just don't like VR Boy that much because he keeps saying that I keep repeating. Oh, oh, depressed, and I know what you're trying to pull there, buddy. In the same past, all Nick over again and, again and again. Not Nick or I don't care. And my used name used not to be called Sonic Tree. Airfoot, but not anymore. But this piece of shit is nothing but a trollmaker. And I understand he has a broken leg. Very inclusive, but to Claw, be honest, thank you. This, guy's, this kid's been getting on my nerves since day one. Very just inclusive. because I want to talk about my problems. Not all the time, but sometimes. And to be honest, you could say VR Boy 706 is nothing Mods, more than a complete waste minor. of time, okay? I don't want to say Mods, I, I desperately need you to find and to antagonize this miner. Thank you. ...his fucking face anymore. And to be honest, I should have never introduced him to records or anybody because if I didn't introduce to records or anybody... Great. Did you have a super that I missed? I'm very sorry. Uh, Did you send it in through Streamlabs? I'm going to have to start doing designated um moments here. I, I have $3 from Victor Martinez. Last tip for the day, tomorrow night is my singles meetup. And although I'm a bit nervous, it's mainly for the experience. I'll share the details in another stream. Well, Victor, if you're still in chat, great uh, like great on you, man. You always got to try and swing for the fences. Just have fun and see where that goes, dude. So good luck. Absolutely. Uh, Grape, I can't, I can't find the super that I missed. If I really, really miss it, if I've missed it completely, I will read it another time. Um, I'm very sorry. No, just what happened. And to be honest, I'm done with this. You said asshole. I was hot. So Vera boy. Oh. I was once friends with you, but now I'm no longer your friend anymore. So to be honest, you can do us all a favor and go fuck yourself. Okay. You could. You could You're do a us piece a of favor, shit and a waste of my time. So Don't you waste my time. records and pollination. <laughs> you guys, you're not going to break my mind. I'm breaking yours. Never, never. And you know what? Never. I will say what you guys said. If you don't choose that right path and do what I tell you guys to do, then guess what? I'm gonna remove you from friends. I'm gonna remove you. As okay, I did. I did miss your super, but I found it. Uh, grape soda with two dollars and sixty nine cents. Black dudes with white hair are hot. Don't test me. Well, aw, aw, great. Oh, jeez. As we speak. So yeah, so yeah, this Crazy is the user right here, VR Boy 706. This guy's been getting on my nerves since day one, and I'm tired of this. Okay, I tire of I this. I just want to talk about I'm my tired. problems, my past, whatever. So yeah, but this is like the last person I want to discuss. But Call me Firestone because I'm tired. Call me Pirelli because I'm tired of about. this. So yeah, he's wearing a Sonic picture, and then his stat says "kill me." I don't know why he put that, but I don't want anything to happen to him. But he needs to understand that when you try to Tell me my that mind, oh, I'm supposed to tell my past. Shut up. Dry. I can tell whatever my damn past I want, okay? Because me, along with my friend Kirby Fan Official, who also has a YouTube channel, and also my my good my good 
longtime friend, Darkness Twilight, and YT underscore Mini Ninja. We Ready? guys, all of us are autistic. I we have problems. <laughs> oh, that's that's a quote for the ages. All of us are autistic. Oh shit, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. <laughs> we've, we've been bullied in school, and we can't deal with people who like to bully us online. Bullying is wrong, you piece of shit, motherfucker. <laughs> he even said he was killed. I'm talking to you, VR Boy 706. It's underscore population and Sinktor Records. So we got a problem? The only I can say to you guys is go fuck yourselves. You're never go gonna break yourselves. my fucking mind. Don't break his mind. You're not gonna break his mind. You will never break his mind. Uh, we will absolutely do a Cellwaters stream in the future. I love that guy. He's the best. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shocking, Depreston, that this guy's autistic? No. So shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. Hey, some people got sensitive Go hearing, all right? Some people have sensitive ears. Maybe quit yelling, please. And bullying can lead to suicide, just so you know. See a therapist, see what the fuck is wrong with you. Yeah, golf. I am. It's underscore Palmation also said he almost killed somebody, and he almost regretted it too. Like he regretted. It. And to be he honest, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. So yeah, Mind fuck these broken. guys <laughs> and fuck you, VR boy, you piece of shit motherfucker. I don't want to see you. It's underscore Palmation or Central Records ever again. Much like being black or gay or both at the same time, autism, in fact, is contagious. So if you know anyone with autism, make sure to keep a seat empty between the two of you. You don't want to contract it. I'm done with you guys. Fuck off. So there you go. There you go. That was me yelling at the children. whole video of these three, these three people or these three. Now, nah, his mind was definitely not broken in that instance. Bullying can lead to suicide, guys, so uh, be careful. These three people who were getting on my nerves since day one. And if you guys can find their names on VRT, I really appreciate it. I need to go <laughs> teach them a lesson. Depressed. Tell them something gamer fans know, but don't say my YouTube name. Don't. Don't. Don't, don't. Do not say my YouTube name. Never. Just say only my username. Because, you know, I'm getting sick and tired of these idiots. And to be honest, they're going to wish they did not piss me off. So, yeah. This is my last rant video, but like I said, these guys will never break my mind and every channel because if I have a lot of depressing issues and I have to talk about my past, I will. Okay? But right now... Why does he get... He gets so fucking intense all of a sudden when he makes these videos, too. He's just staring right into your soul going like, I will trauma dump at you, okay? I will trauma dump. I'm happy now, as we speak, but I will never, ever join their side. So yeah, in conclusion, Sinkor Records, Paolo, it's underscore Palomation, and VR Boy Sensor 6, I exposed your <laughs> I exposed your little ass on VR chat. Get exposed. Get exposed, minor. Alright, get <laughs> Oh no, that's gonna get clipped. <laughs> Don't get exposed. <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourself. And if you ever, ever do this shit to me again? I, I That's what I was saying to Preston. This dude looks like he should have been in the Croods. This man straight up looks like he was thawed out of ice. This is the missing link. This is Sasquatch. I've seen this blurry motherfucker walking through the forest, man. We'll report your VR chat count. Doesn't matter because you'll never see me on VR chat oh, anymore. Yourself. If you ever do that again, I will report you, ever, you on VR if chat. If you ever do it but again. I, my YouTube friends take care of your sorry ass. So yeah, if you want to see their, their usernames on VR chat, well I'll put their names in a video. <laughs> I'll, I can put, I'll probably keep the, the text up for like 10 seconds. So you guys can go find these assholes. Mm. You want to friend them and talk to them fine, but you need to, but before you unfriend them, just let them know that Sonic Gamer fan has handled with your shit. I'm he's he's done. Homie is done. Straight up. Ooga booga. Caveman gonna bonk you on the fucking head. Gonna, this, this nigga, the kind of dude where, like, his faucet's a pterodactyl that says, It's a living! Before spitting out some hot water, man. Or expose your sorry ass, their sorry asses, and tell them I'm sick of their shit. So if you guys have a VR <laughs> chat now, skull. go expose these guys. These guys have been getting on my nerves since day one. And he's the fucking stop. It's getting annoying, and I'm sick and tired of records always sending me invites. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to visit this. This is fucking roleplay. I'll find that phrase, okay? I don't want to fucking hear that. So, yeah.
But there you go. Those are all the people I exposed. <laughs> and to be honest, I know it's baffling that this video, this video just keeps going. This man just stay yapping. Honest, I'm done with this. Oh, one last thing. Talk your I shit, fam. I also wanted to let you know that I did a bio here. And yeah. I'm just going to let you know, guys, that this is the bio I wrote here. Um, sorry, I clicked that. This is what I wrote. And to be honest, I'm actually done with these he's people. Actually, so he's here's actually what, here's done. What my bio he's had says. enough. And don't Go worry why this is free DOS. It's just how it is. So, yeah. As you can see, my status is doing a rant. I'm very excited for him to go back, brains. And firstly, go fuck yourself, back brain. Video on YouTube right now. So, yeah, it says here I'm no longer Song Air. All right. I, I will say this, uh, Claw, that like there is, and this might be my Sonic autism, Sean, but there is a Sonic game called um, Sega Sonic, I think. It's an arcade game. And I always mix it up with his name, which is Sonic Sega. But either, wa either way, very bad, very generic name. Uh, sucks bad, sucks and bad. Uh, Miss Mimi with five dollars. I'm autistic with internalized ableism. Most people interested in lol cows are. Well, thank you very much, Mimi. Hopefully, I could hit your intonations there. My homie, you crushed it on the video. I'm so happy. Friend, you once knew I had enough of people who are aggressive to me, nearly broke my spirit in my mind. And thank people you so like much Cinco for the five dollars. It's underscore Polymation and VRBoy706 have crossed the line for the last time. Stop I will never change because me, Kirby Fan Fishel, my friends in real life, have autistic problems. And you pieces of crap will not tell me how to run my life. You are nothing but blackmailers. <laughs> so in conclusion, I'm going to... He's, he's going to call me black like Fuchsia Butter <laughs> Just <like> black. <laughs> Say, fuck, it's underscore Polymation. Fuck, it's Sinktor Records. And VRBoy706, go... After yourself, go fuck yourself. So yeah, I forgot to write go that. Go fuck yourself. So, yeah. Go fuck yourself. So go there you go. Yourself. That go was uh, the whole video of my rant against these idiots. Who you are... you say that, but there's fucking <laughs> there's fucking fourteen minutes left. You you fiend. Or getting my nerves. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say right here that I'm done with people. On VR chat, who were getting on my nerves? Not, not everyone. On my nerves. Not every friends are mean. Some that are nice to me. Don't but get like on my I nerves. Said, I'm done with this shit. And to be honest, if people are gonna continue to tell other people to fucking change and break their minds, it ain't gonna happen. Man, honestly, I I'm quite happy every single day knowing that I'm not autistic. I'm just like I got a bunch of different problems, but I'm quite pleased that I'm not autistic. <laughs> Shout out my homies in chat with autism, man. Stay living. I'm proud of all of y'all. You're not gonna do that to me anymore, okay? And you're not you're not gonna tell me how to run my fucking life because right now as we speak, you guys are the blackmailers. You like to blackmail me and my friends like This user is the blackmailer. That fuck off. And I'm sick and tired Go fuck yourself. of your shit. Sick and tired. So if you ever, if you ever do that again, and I guarantee you, you won't. You're gonna be sorry. You're gonna be wish you did not piss me off. Because at the end of the day, we no neon. We we never did get a actual summary of what breaking one's mind is. Um, but we're gonna move on from this because he he retreads so often. That's the biggest issue with him. Not like I mean, obviously the pedophilia, the weird internalized rage. The rants and like beef with children, those are all pretty big issues too. But the fact that he is he cannot concisely sum up any of this shit just blows my goddamn mind. Hey So So we're getting we're getting into the cut. This is when Ace Jagger becomes a part of this. And once again, thank you, Alan Sampson, for all of your help on this. <laughs> it doesn't mean me. I'm glad. I'm very glad. I'm glad. What is going on, everybody? How y'all doing? This is the Sonic Sega Gamer, and today I'm in a pissed off a fucking mood, and you're not gonna believe this. Why do I say that? Well, because there's an individual who thinks he has the balls to call me out. In fact, even as we speak, he's gonna make a video about me. Probably first thing in the morning, or tonight, I don't know. So you know what? Let's just get this over with.
Q intro. How many how many different intros did this blood edit of fucking Mario and Dragon Ball Z and Smash Bros? Shit, man. Just have one intro. Chat player Ace Jagger, right? Well, apparently Hero just Brian Sonic. today. That's right. There's been a drama that's been going on recently that happened at the Pizza Tower World. And even to this fair day, when I came back on VR chat, I'm gonna tell my kids that this is Turkey Tom with this t this fucking commentary right here. <laughs> Ace Jagger is a minor and stuff. I was like, okay, this is a fun uh, chatting game. But as I was starting to make good friends, this is where I met Ace Jagger. Me and Ace Jagger became good friends until something happened. A few days ago, I don't know if you guys know, but my longtime best friend a year ago goes by the name of Abraham5113. We're in, and we're in yes, the Pizza Tower world. That's his username. That looks like Battle this. Battle of Pizza Tower. Right now. A.K.A. Beltran. He passed away a few days ago. Now, I'm not going to mention remember. the whole I'll situation the of what happened to him, but all I can tell you is that he passed away with some unknown... Um, <laughs> you could say it was a disease, a disease or something, so yeah. But it turned out that he was talking to minors, even though he was also a minor. Yeah. So, basically, we paid a tribute to um, Beltran, but then afterwards, well, today, today, thank as you soon for as I came back in. on VR chat... Good night. Oh boy, things went downhill. Ace Jagger decided to pretty much defend his friend who made... Oh shit, I'm surprised that it already hasn't happened, Redips. I'm, I'm very excited to to uh, talk to Mimi about how she got uh, an enormous amount of money from some random person to say, Well, well I guess... <laughs> Make fun of my... My best friend, no, this user one of is my the minor very best talker? friends from VR chat who passed away a few nights ago, goes by the name of Onate the Great. And then there's another asshole that I can't deal with it anymore. And he goes by the name of Analog Mark. Now, for what he said to my friend Curry fan, and sorry if I actually, um, uh, I said this in Doom's video that that we did together, like when we were streaming. Um, like, why does he want to talk to kids? Is it because he has arrested development and, like, he just cannot talk to adults? He doesn't know how to relate to adults or to occupy adult conversations. So he spends his time with literal children all the time. Crazy. Fucking crazy. Why? Children suck, man. Like, why would you want to fucking talk to a kid when you're an adult man? Kids are annoying. <laughs> Mention him here. He told Curry Fan that he's not a great friend, and that's what really pissed him off. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not going to say anything more about Curry Fan. Now, I know that Ace Jagger is still going to be friends with Curry Fan, so if he wants to be friends with him, fine. Let him. But I'm not going to be part of this shit, no, this, this whole drama anymore. Because, you know, let me tell you something right here. Ace Jagger has gone way too far defending too guys far. like fucking, what's his name? Onyx the Great yeah. and Analog Mark. Yeah. Well, Ace Jagger, you fucking make it personal with me, you know? In that banjo tour world where Santa Rat fell a little bit down, I go there to meditate and try to remain calm. And then suddenly, when I confront your fucking asshole friend, oh, Nate the Great. Yeah, honestly, I don't think he could have, like, a conversation with, like, a 9 to 5 adult, Depreston. He's an adult 12 year old claw. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. Um,. And adults can enjoy things like Sonic and Pokemon, but adults also have, like, adult concerns, and he just wants to, like, eschew that completely. Um, uh, Travis Cole saying, uh, it's unrelated, I know, but I got the Super Origami Kingdom videos that had Tamatoa Gaming Da and them archived. That's good to know. I, I archived a bunch of them myself because, uh, well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the SOK, and uh, Tamatoa Gaming Da, he's, he's very passionate, we'll say. <laughs> He made it fucking personal. And you know why? Well, I'll tell you fucking why. Because the moment, the moment you try to defend guys the like moment. him, he is nothing but a toxic, idiot, little bitch. Oh, and you know what he said? He was going to get Winter Gamer, including other friends to try to dox me and try to make my life a living hell. <laughs> you can't make my life a living hell. It already is one. Like... I'm it's it's kind of sobering that like these people are so inclined to dox one another 
that's like their their response to being slighted is like, well, I'm just going to reveal all of your sensitive information. When it you know most of these people are children or people who are ostensibly children, and they don't have lives to ruin, essentially. But it, it it's just. It's just kind of appalling that a lot of these people are willing to dox each other, like, so willy-nilly. They will just go like, well, time for me to leak your information because you you said or did something to me that, that made me mad. <laughs> Bullshit! Bullshit! Fucking shit! And you know Talk what? I have a clip right here and proof that Ace Jagger and his stupid friend O'Nate the Great... It's nothing but fucking assholes. Take a look. All right, Ace Jagger, I'm here. What do you want to talk about? <sighs> you know, you tried to. I like seriously. Only <laughs> the neck a arc in the cut too. Wasn't a actually disrespecting your dead friend. You didn't have to take it that far. Still, but no. thinking about that is terrible. But still, it's not even a funny joke. Showing that it's bad, but. It's so crazy here and watching this like one frame a second video and listening to this like actual 10 year old having a debate with an adult man. Yeah, this is the one, Claw. But, but Oni was a very good friend of mine, all of, like for a very long time. He meant you got the joke. fucking the PowerPoint slideshow. Yeah, yeah. But, but, when your friend, yeah. Too far. but when your friend makes but when your friend makes fun of my friend's death like that, that's where he takes it too far, and it's disrespectful. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Uh, Spider Woman. All right. All right. All right. Set the stage. <laughs> Chat, sing along. I'm not singing. I want to see chat sing. <laughs> All right, we're done. Yeah, no problem, everyone. How would how would Beltra's brother, um, Alex, um, say to you if he actually saw you on VR chat? How do you think he's gonna act? He's gonna be really pissed off at you. Because if Belcher's brother came Meralda, back on your channel right now, though. he confronted you, he's not gonna be happy for what you said to his little brother. Spiral that he mountain, away. go. That's right, spiral mountain. We got blue spheres and red spheres. Spheres everywhere. I already know what he was doing, but listen. <laughs> only blue spheres, 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 red spheres, spheres everywhere. Take it too far. But seriously, you can call me in on YouTube all you want. And I wouldn't even care less. I couldn't even so care just less. Do that. Talk that but seriously. Talk that shit, literal child. Talk that shit, man. That's crazy that this kid is just like going like, look, man. <laughs> I I ain't even trying to hear this bullshit from you. Seriously. I don't care if I get called out on YouTube. Talk that shit. I don't care. Look, I understand what you were trying to say. I get it. It was a joke, but you can't. But your friend Nate can't make death jokes about my friend who passed away. You know, and I'm not gonna appreciate that. I'm not. That's just, but you, but you went here. way too far on him. You didn't have to do that as well. But no, you had to straight up say that you wanted to kill Onate. But now you have. To go after me, I was because your friend. On... For... Because he kept on listen. threatening him. I I love this debate of like a ten year old and like two thirty year olds who basically might as well be ten year olds. I I mean yeah, depressed. I'm not sure. I might have to look into like more VR chat shit. No, it's not that. Yeah, Ace Jagger may have threatened me, but you know what I, I don't do. like about you, Ace Jagger. This kid, this kid, straight doing integers badly, and he's cooking this man. I don't like it when you defend toxic friends like Onate and Analog Mark just so you can get, just so you can let them get away with it. No, after what they did to me and to Curry fans, unacceptable. 
and they, those two owe us an apology for what they did to us. Especially Analog Mark. Cry about it all you want, Sonic. But in fact, I never wanted to be friends with you in the first place. Call me out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, Claw, like this, this literal child, this fucking 11 year old is like moderate compared to these guys. Ever, all day, all you <laughs> the want. The 10 year old beat the ass. Do that and beat the ass. This chat. is your final strike, yeah, and I will make a response on. to your video or something. Like, I can ask Winter if he can make a video about you. Yes, oh, you. You got you. fucking Cammy. You want to use winter as an excuse? You want to use winter as an excuse just so we can get away with all the crime you committed here? Honestly, Ace, if Ace Jagger was in charge of the Omni Kings, they would have won. They would have won, guys. John Doe, you want to take me out and show me a good time? I don't, I don't know if I can taller that. Okay, I don't know if I can taller that. Um, and. Uh... <laughs> Uh-uh! Winter Gamer's not gonna fall for that shit! Now after what I you did! Sleep. What happened? <laughs> after what I did? This is what people beat no. this ass, man! Do you think... This is acceptable? No! Oh, it was a very good friend of mine. But no! You want to go out of your way to say that, you know, like, you wanted him... ...dead. He meant it as a joke. He didn't actually mean it. But seriously, you don't have to, like, <laughs> say that, uh... Ace Swagger cooking, man. Our boy Ace Jagger, Ace Swagger. Look, said, joking about a friend's death is not funny. I don't care if it was a joke or not. He is hurt by this. Severely. And besides, we wouldn't be in this really? mess if you didn't bring your friend own date. <laughs> Fucking Eggman sent me. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Talking Plum Bob. This is like, this is the angel from uh, Evangelion if it just uh, popped into VR chat. I love this shit. With you along. Ramio? Yeah, you just yeah, spawned Ramio. here for a reason. No way. Talking I'll take that Plum back. Bob. It was that Pepino Pizza Tower world. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. going to deal with this anymore. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm I don't want to do this, this to you, Ace Jagger. I want to be your friend, not your enemy, but you know what's... Look, I'm tired of this. I want to be your friend, but I'm tired of this. Plain and simple, I'm tired of this. Since your friend Oni made it personal, I'm going to expose him and Enlaw Mark for who the hell they think they are. And if you think you're trying to stop me, I dare you because let me tell you for one reason. Winter Gamer... Especially my friend Tico. Oh yeah, I spoke to her on Steam call. Moment? She is not gonna be happy for what happened here on VR chat. And when she gets back online tomorrow, she's not gonna tolerate with you anymore. She's not gonna tolerate with Oni anymore. And she's damn sure not gonna. Well, depressed then. This is Ace the Rhombus, popular Sonic the Hedgehog character Ace the Rhombus. Tolerate with Analog Mark anymore. And you know what? Me, Kirby fan, and Man Dude are done with your sticking ass. So I'm, all I'm going to say what? to you is go what? fuck yourself. Fuck I've had enough from here. Fuck yourself. Alright, you know what? Fine. How about you can go kill yourself at the same time, Sonic TH? I... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. I can't believe Ace Jagger is, uh, is the voice of reason here. He's saying shit like that. God, go kill yourself. You go oh, kill yourself, motherfucker! Fuck you! Yeah. Yo, and the crazy part is Ace Jagger took the high road and then left. Damn, he said something incendiary, but he left. And, and of course, our boy Sonic Sega Gamer has to chase him. Yo. Ace the Intangible Soul Crystal. Come on, man, I'm just trying to sleep. In this situation? I'm sorry, I'm tired. Are you tired, boy? Tired. Is there something you want to say? Oh, I always think of of uh, Sonic Sega Gamer's parents, like just hearing him on yet another tear, just going like, "Fuck yourself, oh, fuck yourself," you know, do it, do it, all this shit over and over again. And like, man, maybe if we buy him some Nike pants, he'll calm down. 
Ah 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 ah. Great. Not me. Who did it? Fuck oh, so. Go ahead. He's asking you what you have to say. What do you have to say? Oh. Well, uh, I just got to your book. Oh, Goblin Man, he does not live alone. He lives at home. He lives with his parents, no doubt. They buy him a lot of clothes that he doesn't care about, but he cares about when they buy him games. He lives at home. This guy couldn't take care of himself. He eats Chef Boyardee for breakfast. Uh, he told me to join the group him, but I, I don't trying to do the job. He's just trying to go to yeah, bed. Yeah. Let, Let the kids you. sleep. Join you. What else? I don't know. I don't think Amethyst, he's 11. Ace, Ace Jagger's 11. Yeah, years but old. you know what your friend Ace Jagger told me just now? He told me to go kill myself. No, I ain't gonna do that. I Why don't you do, do me it. a favor, Nate, and tell Ace Jagger to go kill himself because I'm not gonna deal with him anymore. I'm done with him. All right, so you see the difference here. I don't know if I have to break this down for chat, but an 11 year old saying go kill yourself has a lot less weight than a 28 year old man telling you to go kill yourself to a child. All right, an 11 year old saying that. It sounds like an emotional outburst, whereas a 28-year-old man saying this is deeply troubling. <laughs> oh yeah, the two kids he doesn't raise. Because at Fine. the end, call me out on YouTube, including Analog Mark and Ove, all you want. We wouldn't even care one single bit. Yeah, you know what? Just go on and edit. You know what? Oh, wait, I Basically, I'm not a bad person. Basically, go your fuck yourself. For a very long time, but not of this. Sonic TH, you are the worst person that I've ever met. Mimi, you gotta, you gotta defeat him in Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> I like the anime laughter. He always kicks it occasionally. Just <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit. You're the worst poorest person ever. Because let me tell you something, Ace Jagger. Even as we speak right now, I got some solid news for you. I'm recording you right now, and I'm posting this on, on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, first thing in the morning tomorrow. Yeah, let's see how you like it. With my Get exposed. Get exposed, man. Get exposed. My subscribers, expose your sorry ass. You are the worst VR chat player ever and worst fucking YouTube ever. So you know what? Do us all a favor and skid out. Go. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Leaf. Oh, okay, doctor. Hey, okay, man. doctor. Yeah, I've seen your face before. You build like a fat meat head, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, chat. Chat, he won. He won. Dog, I've seen your face before. You built like a fat meat character. He won. He kicked his ass. Shout out Ace Jagger, man. Shout out H. Jagger. You, you are in the cut, homie. <laughs> you beat like a fat me character, boy. What's up, boy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Miss Patient Pants. You think you could just like to... I'm sorry. <laughs> Chat, he beat his ass. Call people out just so I just so because we're trying to be your friend here. No, from this day forth, we are enemies. I'm your That's enemy. Pretty epic. Curry fans are your enemy. All of us are your enemies. So you dare try and mess with us again? Oh, it's all war all over everywhere. Get this is war on VR chat and on YouTube. It's war. It's war now. He's he's trying to make me say anything. I was just trying to sleep, man. Just trying to sleep. If you want to sleep, sleep. You can stay out of this. <laughs> I love I love every time that fucking uh, Sonic Sega Gamer just goes, <laughs> Bullshit. This is between this is between me and Ace Jack. We are now enemies. <laughs> I'll do that. Oh, thank you. Ace Jagger, Jagger kicks ass. I'm just gonna say this. My man. If we ever cross paths again, it'll be the last time. You ever step we forward? We are now enemies. chat. Oh, is that so? 
I will call language. you out on YouTube at the same time. So try and stop me at the same time. Oh yeah. I can tell Analog Mark. I can tell the, my whole Discord. Server, he just wants to go to sleep, call. Man dudes in. I can call every. I can call you out. Oh really? My server, including YouTube. Oh you really? Oh really? Okay, then let the game begin. First day tomorrow morning. <laughs> so let the game begin. Let the game begin. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna expose you on YouTube. Be ready for everything. So see you tomorrow, or not, asshole. Heh. 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 Easy. I can make yeah. a response right now. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, make a response. Make a response. I can tell Toasty. I can tell. I beg of you, just let me sleep. Let me sleep. Apple. I can tell. I'm tired. I'm tired. Even I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. And also, we were supposed to deal with that asshole, Team Boy 2K7. But since you don't want to help me anymore, I'll have to deal with the asshole myself. If you're not going to help me, then I'll, deal with, hey, then I'll deal with Team Boy 2K7 myself. I beg you guys, please let me go to bed. <laughs> I have to sleep. All right, fine. I, can get I just in, want to sleep. I can go into his YouTube comments and then just say, Hey, can you call off Sonic EHM? <laughs> yeah, of course he thinks he's living in an anime. He says, <laughs> unironically. <laughs> that will happen. Well, I'm sitting down your bullshit, okay? You are a disgrace to the entire YouTube community, families, and fucking VR chat. How would you like it when I expose your sorry ass on YouTube? You great, unscrapeful son of a bitch! Just want to go to sleep. Oh, what? Bunny, yeah. Necro Arc jump scare, Bunny, yeah. Just two months ago. You ain't gonna do anything. Please. Please. I have school in the morning. I gotta take a test. My life is diary of a wimpy kid. Please let me go to sleep. Anything, dog. I've been exposed two months ago, and I got docs. So maybe I can get one of my versions of docs you would send. You ain't gonna dox shit at me! I'll dox okay? you, no, I'll ain't gonna happen! No, I'll Not in a million years no, from now! You. So you know what? I'm done with this conversation! This is the last time we'll see- Jeremy, I just wanna go to sleep! I don't want to sleep anymore, I just wanna go to sleep! See each other. Goodbye, no friend! I hope you go to hell! But in hell. Me, character. Man, fuck you! <laughs> Three you hear what I said? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to talk shit? You want to talk shit? You hear what I said? I said, fuck you and go fuck yourself. You ungrateful son of a bitch. Go fuck yourself. Okay. I don't care. Yeah, just get out of my I sight. YouTube, I don't want to see you again. You sick of me. Get out of my sight. So it's 3 a.m. Quit yelling at children on VR chat. I just want to go to sleep. Please, let me sleep. <laughs> Come on, guys, we're leaving. We're leaving. Let's get out I of here, I will guys. expose you in the fucking morning, asshole. Now fuck off. I just want to go to sleep, guys. Like, come on. Come on. All right. I got to sleep. I got to sleep. Let's see how he likes when I expose his ass on YouTube. Yeah. Let's see. He's not gonna dox me because I'll dox him first. How you like you piece of shit? Yep. He said those things to me and he fucking tells me to go kill us. So <laughs> he said those things to me and you're like, I I love how SSG just like glosses over the fact that he's an adult man, like firing similar salvos at a child, uh, and he's like, yeah, that's right, I'm exposing him. Okay. He's just like, give me coffee 2.0. I helped him. To confront Gimme Coffee. We were gonna do this today to get rid of that asshole once and for all. But no! Instead, <laughs> you have to fucking get Oni the Great to disrespect my VR chat friend, my best friend who passed away. Yeah, doxing is so cool, guys. It's so sick when a 12 year old doxes you as if they're gonna fucking slide because their name is Gavin or some shit. Yeah, okay, sick, sick. So cool, man. So cool.
I just love SSG's anime laugh where he thinks he's like Yagami going like, <laughs> soon, soon, I'll expose him before he exposes me. <laughs> three, night, three nights ago, December 4th, or 5th, that's when he passed away, Beltran was really sick, yeah, factually cool. and he had a disease, and for a once... Disease. In your mm -hmm. lifetime, Ace Jagger, you have to defend this asshole like Onate the Great to make fun of a stupid death. Make fun of his death, of his passing. No, you let Onate the Great make fun of my friend's passing. How fucking dare you? You know what, Ace Jagger? I'm just gonna say this. If you and I ever cross paths again... <laughs> yeah, just the tiny mouth movements. ...on viewer chat, <laughs> then guess what I'm gonna do? Guess what? I'm gonna fucking humiliate you. Base. I'm gonna make you... Life of living hell, yes. and most importantly, I'm gonna make you my bitch. Oh. Because you know what? Oh, Winter Gamer and Mario Bros. Zero Seven. Really, really a wise move telling an 11 year old you're gonna make them your bitch. Yeah, okay, okay. All according to Keikaku. <laughs> are not gonna appreciate for what you did to me. So you know what? Ace Jagger, all I can Shout say to you Bandy is Cam. fuck Shout you. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. And have yourself a terrible day. Guys, <laughs> go look at this asshole. Have a terrible day. <laughs> That's pretty good. Have a terrible day. YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Oh, Ace Jagger yourself. is nothing but fucking trouble. I gave him so many multiple chances, and he fucking ruined it. He blew his chances. Not go only that, yourself. but he blamed me and everybody else who think that we steal OC Avatar characters on VR chat? We like don't steal no armor? OC Avatar characters at all. And you know what? I'm doing this shit. Yeah. This Don't VR chat shit. drama is never gonna fucking end. So yeah, uh, probably the wisest thing he ever said. It, it never will end because you keep on perpetuating it. You know what, Ace Jagger? You wanna call me out? Let's see how you like it when I expose your sorry ass. On this channel right here, right now. And if you got something to say about me, then go ahead. Make a fucking viewer response. Because also, I will not tolerate this yourself. shit anymore from the state forth. Please go so, fuck yeah. yourself. So Ace Jagger. So basically. If you're not gonna help me deal with Team Boy 2K7, then fine. If you're not gonna help me out here, then fine. I'm and fine. you're gonna tell Team Boy 2K7 I'm tired. to try I'm to take my I'm try tired. to use my videos again to expose me? Fuck. Chat, I am so tired. You know, I'm so tired. Fuck you! Go fuck yourself. Fuck Team Boy 2, because I fuck all the haters who get in my way. M64 Bros, Retro Gaming Star, uh, Darkest Twilight, Y2 Square Me and Ninja, and everybody else who are watching this, I want you to make a view response against this motherfucker. And I, uh, Amelia, I think Darkness Twilight, one of his core collaborators, as an adult, as is um, that Kirby guy, Kirby Fan Gamer, I think his name is. Um, but I think everyone else in his orbit is a child. I'm a tire. Call me Pirelli, because I'm a tire. Ace Jagger, who pretty much ruined my fucking life! That's right, Claw, I'm a tire. Ace Jagger, fuck you! Don't break I my don't mind. I ever want to see you again. And if I swear, if we cross paths again, <laughs> it'll be the last- <laughs> You crossed paths plenty of times. <laughs> last time you were fucking mess with me! Guys- Go confront this asshole. I'll put his channel down and link his scratch below. I want I'm you to teach sleepy. this idiot a lesson. And Kirby Kirby was the sleepy kid? Okay, so yes. All right. In that case, then no. Uh, I guess Darkness Twilight's the only adult that he's he's friends with. Yeah, Kirby Kirby was the um, the Neko Arc avatar. To learn, he has to learn the arrow, arrow of his ways to not be friends with toxic morons like fucking Nate. An analog mark. So at the end of the day, all I can say to you is... Would Sonic expose himself to children? Hey, kid! <laughs> oh, God. Preston. Um, depending on the Sonic. Jaleel White Sonic would. Fuck you! Ace Jagger, go fuck yourself! And I swear, you dare get, you dare get Winter Gamer to help you in your videos? You're making a big mistake. Winter Gamer, do not listen to Ace Jagger. Yeah, he I fucking think... blew it so many yeah, times. Exposed me for avatars. And now he's friends with that toxic idiot, Onate the Great. Yeah, Onate is the username. He was making fun of Beltran's passing! Oh, Beltran's 
passing! You do not make fun of my friend's death like that! You piece of shit! You know what? Beltran's brother is not going to be happy when he sees this video. You made a per- He's, he probably, and I don't think anyone's happy seeing this video whatsoever. So I can't imagine going like, hey, I know your brother passed away and all, but here's a video of me arguing with a child. Uh, hopefully this brings you solace. Personal. So you know what? Ace Jagger, Jagger. Go fuck yourself. Well, thanks for popping in, Claw. I appreciate you hanging out, man. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to keep our minds solid. No minds are getting broken here. Appreciate you, man. Have a good night. Why don't you do us all the way, a world a favor, and go get a fucking therapist? Something's wrong with you, you fucking asshole. So, guys, in conclusion, Ace Jagger fucking sucks. And that's all I'm gonna say. In conclusion. <laughs> so, Ace Jagger, feel free to make a real response. I don't care. But you are nothing more but a toxic VR chapler. I will not stand a shit anymore. Yeah, I'm. Winter I'm Gamer, done. aka I'm Man tired. Gamer VR, do I'm so tired. not. Do a collab video with Ace Jacker. If you do, you're gonna fucking regret it, okay? Yeah, he is so nothing tired. but a troublemaker! Just like it's underscore pollination. So do not do a collab video with him, or else there will be consequences. Dude, I'm do tired. not work with Ace Jacker anymore. Yeah, please, please, mods, ruin his life. <laughs> And it sounded like a Darman video. <laughs> In conclusion, go fuck yourselves, Darman fam. Huh. You know what? That's it. I already made this video long enough. Make sure to give this video a like, leave your comments, and subscribe. Joey, I am the Sonic Sand Gamer, sorry. aka Sonic TA. Joey, you already said sorry, man. Leave it in the past. It's on VR chat, and I'll see you guys next Bye. time. Until then, peace out. And Ace Shagger, go fuck yourself, you ungrateful piece of shit, toxic defender, motherfucker, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! <laughs> fuck yourself, you piece of shit! Fuck you! Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace fuck out. Yourself. Peace out. <laughs> they knocked the mic over. <laughs> Holy shit. I know you I know your your fucking brother died, but uh yeah, so here's me yelling at a child. All right, so... Oh, God. Uh... Holy fuck. There's so... There's so much to get through. There's so much to get through. This is, um... All right, the description Alan gave me. This might be his biggest lowlight, when he is suicide-baiting these kids into being his friend and to get the 11-year-old uh, Ace Jagger to delete their video on SSG calling him a pedo for having underage waifus. Oh, we're gonna have to jump around this one. Alan, if you're in chat, tell me, tell me where the good uh, parts are. If on someone's death, it's not... These haters just don't fucking care. All they care about is just bashing on me, Humiliate me, pretty much st stealing my videos without permission. And then so this is this is like the aftermath of of the Ace Jagger conflict. Is this stream going to be a two parter? Yeah, I I definitely can't get through this whole doc. We might we might revisit our boy a couple of times, but uh, I do want to get to some of the lowlights. They are mention, haters. Team Boy Two K Seven. He actually, and not to mention trophies. Team Boy Two K Seven bashed on me three times. Just the third time you uploaded a really? video today about me. Just because I called him out. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, that's fucked up if you ask far. me. Go back to the start? Alright, you got I it. I don't care anymore. Oh, okay, we're in the cut. Okay, alright. Alright, yeah. Any, like, uh, gesture and Alan, if you know which moments are peak in this, please let me know. Um, but I do hear our man sobbing a bit. Guys. Guys. I can't take this anymore. All this time, I've been causing almost too much trauma recently. And to be honest, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about me anymore. Oh, I even no. posted this on the community tab. No. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck. I... 
My mind's about to get broken, guys. Nobody give a fuck. I can't take it anymore. Oh. oh. These past almost few years has been really stress for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically... <laughs> We care. All I want care. is to make good contents on YouTube and also to show my friends a good time here. You're going to show your you friends a good time? Like Toph? I don't care anymore. This world, this world is full of negativity. This world. And this and and and. I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Yeah. I know it's hard, man. It's like people don't give a fuck about me. They probably don't, no. Sadly. People think I'm a pedophile, which I'm not. You are. You are. Objectively, Just because you are. I raised my voice on Ace Jagger and he thinks. No, they, they think you're a pedophile because of all the minors you're attracted to from fiction. That's why they think you're a pedophile, because of all the pedophilic things you've said and done. That's why people think you're a pedophile. Because of all the pedophilia movements. I think I'm actually threatening minors. Yeah, I'm not trying to. I'm just saying all, all I was trying to do was to defend my friend. You just wanted to show him a good time, I get it. Who had some kind of disease. And, well, he's still alive, but I don't know how long until this kid will survive long enough from this disease he has. But that's not poor right now. The important thing is, I get treated here like a scumbag. And to be honest, I can't take this anymore. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm depressed to get grugged, man. <laughs> Jagger Chad's one. <laughs> get aced. So you know what? Get aced. As you can see in the thumbnail, the title, three dots. Because I can't put the... I can't put the... A the fat moment, thing that because you know? YouTube fat. or streamer can shut my stream off any minute now, but I don't fucking care anymore. I'm done. Oh, well, come everybody on, Kurt, wants, don't do everybody it. keeps saying to me everywhere, go kill myself. Well, if that's what it is, then so fucking be it. I'm gonna do it. I don't want to live anymore. Okay, all right. So, if your life is so dictated by stupid moments like an argument with a 10-year-old that you would contemplate suicide, you should just stop doing whatever you're doing instead of contemplating suicide. You should stop yelling at children. You should change your life in a positive way. You should get off the internet. If you ever got to this point in your life that you're contemplating your mortality rather than just not going on VR chat and not making bad videos, you should choose to stop doing the things that are frustrating you instead and then get help. But this guy, uh, this guy is probably incapable of that level of reflection. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> these people, do these bullies, else. only do is just want to ruin my fucking life. Ted comment with two dollars uh, tries to groom, <laughs> tries to groom on Discord, gets bullied instead. You love to see it. If you guys want me dead, so fucking be it. These haters. <laughs> Holy fuck! I've depressing. had enough with this shit. I've had enough. I'm so tired, and I'm stressed, and I've had he, enough he with tired. this drama for one day. He tired. I've had it from here. He is very tired. That's a good-ass comment right there. To <laughs> T-Boy 2K7, call me out again. 
Yeah, just three fucking times. Just to stop getting in bizarre arguments with children. Like that's that's how you avoid this. That's it. That's it. Just don't don't put yourself in these horrible positions. Stop it. Knock it off. Quit it. Why can't he understand that Logan Thurker is an asshole? I don't support Super Mario Logan. He sucks. Damn. SML hating too? Shit. Tboy 2K7, go fuck yourself, okay? I told you not to make that big response, and you did anyways. All these haters just likes to threaten me everywhere. You threaten all the haters first. <laughs> On YouTube. I don't know about VR chat, but I'm tired. I'm tired of this fucking drama. I mean, I think Jeffy sucks too, but I just don't watch SML. That's how I avoid that. I'm, I'm not going to get angry at something being stupid and keep watching it. Is this what you haters want? Yes. You want me dead? Probably. You guys want me fucking dead? That's so probably what they want, yes. Shut up. SML is All inevitable. All you guys do is make fun of me, humiliate me on my channel, and all yeah. I'm trying to do is make good content. But why do I give a fuck anymore? I'm done. <laughs> Travis, I think I have that one. Um... I I have a lot of videos on this guy. <laughs> he's he's just stands yapping, man. His mind did not break, allegedly. Uh ink with 199. Bro, what is this? Don't worry about it. You missed uh Dedrick Dark in here. You would have you would have laughed. <laughs> God, chat's funny tonight. I spoke to Ace Jagger today on VR chat, and he wanted to apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, depressed. I uh, can't wait for the Black Brains Lord to start with his evil clone, White Brains, bringing together Sonic Second Gamer, Super Origami Kingdom, Astro Boy, Tomato, and Gaming Dun, Jason Gomez, and enter to defeat him. All the enemies. The the anti brains is going to amass the Legion of Doom to stop me. For causing all that commotion that's been happening on VR chat recently. And it's gonna be it's gonna take time for me to think about it. He also wanted to apologize to me for uh for for saying about the whole killing self thing and I'm not gonna forgive what he <laughs> said to me. Good advice, but... Chicken Farmer. I knew that H. Jagger, I know that H. Jagger knows that without me around, I would have never helped him we do need with more his Jason. videos or the whole give me coffee situation. <laughs> Happy Devil I don't Zuki. want H. Jagger to be like give me coffee. I don't. But this has gone too far right now. This has gone too far right now. Tito Delito, Color Street yeah, 5 2 yeah, Tito 2 k 7 and now you've got Hart Felix Serena 72 going after Stuffy Kid. It's like these haters want us dead. It's like they want me at Darkest Twilight and me and Ninja. I, I gotta wait for, for Jason to uh, crank out some more great content because i would love to dive into the uh dino verse again he's the best he always makes me happy i've i've never had i like i haven't had much bad shit to say about jason he's he's just a pleasant little guy all of us they want all of us dead unlike this dude free jason gomez is that boy. what you guys want you haters you don't want us around anymore you're just jealous because I have more subscribers than you do. Oh, here we go. I am tired of this fucking drama. I'm, I'm tired. tired of this. I tire. I am tired. Yeah, people are still trying to crop, crop on my ass 
and try to fucking make me look bad here. <laughs> I'm nuclear. I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, I haven't, Moss. I gotta catch up on my Tony. Maybe I should do a Tony stream at some point. Oh. Dude, he's sad. He is so sad. Is it... Tony just sniffling for the rest of us? He just, he just sniff. Standing on the edge of the crater. Ace Jacker, if you're watching this. Honestly, CJ2, that would be so fucking peak if I could make a video and then just suddenly out of nowhere you hear, Hey guys, they should... <laughs> uh, Braids reached out to me, guys. <laughs> I'd be so happy, man. Of all the people I've collaborated with, this shit, bring him on to very late. That's the homie. Notice this. You had no reason to call me a pedophile, okay? I am not trying to threaten minors. You need to understand that when I have anger issues like this and people make fun of someone's death, it's not okay. Jesus Christ, what's the fucking alarm in the background? I'm gonna do it. That shit, that shit frightened and me. No one. <laughs> It's gonna stop. <laughs> so if you have any final words you have to say before I do actually slit my throat and kill myself, say it now. I'm not gonna hit him up. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to get deeper into that shit than, than I already am. So bro sniffling. Jester and, and Alan, are there any other peak moments in here that I really need to hear other than him being uh, being a suicide waiting sad boy? Yeah, it has to change the smoke detector. It's not just black people, man. It's everyone. So now, so now that you know my whole backstory, if you guys have any reason why you want me to stay alive for a reason, but also why... I want people to hang out with me sometimes. Then say what you have to say. I just want people to have my back. Okay? I'm yeah. tired of this negativity. I'm really tired of this shit. It's, it's right easy here. You know, to I'm get tired. tired. I get it. Of this I get it. toxic community everywhere. And all right, we gotta we gotta cut to when when all the homies are at the function. Okay, so we got who we got here? We got Sonic Sega Gamer. We got Kirby Fan YT. M dude two eleven Ace Jagger Chad Chad Ace Jagger of course uh, V and Kirby Gaming sixty nine Gumball so I assume Sonic Sega Gamer is the only adult here so let's let's start it when when he Ace Jagger joins the call. All right. I don't want you to do this, Sonic TH. I don't want you to slit open your throat, but I know that you're not gonna do it, but I don't- Yeah, you're making- I know you're not gonna do it. Man, Ace Jagger's so good. <laughs> I know- I know you're full of shit, but don't do it. <laughs> Be crying as hell. Chad Jagger. You're making me very worried. Like, I was friends with you for five months, man. You don't yeah, I used to do to... this. Yeah, I'm friends- I'm- well, I've been friends with um, Kirby fan after um, he didn't uh, send me an invite. Guys, it's all kids. Uh, don't don't be surprised if more more of these people who show up are also children. Right to a Sans role play. Do you remember that, Kirby fan? Do you remember? Yeah. Oh, welcome, man, dude. I know you're welcome, full of shit, but don't do it. How's it going, my <laughs> man? <laughs> That's so bad. Like, I'm gonna kill myself, and then the 10 year old goes, like, Look, I know you're full of shit, but come on. <laughs> oh, now listen. Okay, I'm here. Oh my god. Okay. You don't have to do this, TH. Please you don't, have don't to. do it. You have yeah, nothing please. to live for, but 
Come on, you don't, don't do it. You have to do this, Sonic. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to. I want to. Okay, guys, remember, don't raise your voices, though. He is not yeah. wrong. Yeah, but I'm trying, I don't. I'm trying I don't. not to raise my voice, but I'm trying to tell him not to do it because killing himself is not a good thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I don't want to. How are these? How are these children the voice of reason in this situation? God, like, look, adult man, don't do this. See, um, suicide mouse in real life, based on. <laughs> Oh no, suicide mouse in real life. Oh no, come on. True story, actually. Huh. I just, Sonic, I'm just glad that okay. you just came to your senses and am not gonna do it because <laughs> I was really worried about you. Add Kappa into the stream. Oh, this is, this is rough. Obviously, Alan, this is I've rough. been harassed throughout my entire life. I already told you my backstory. I'm not going to say it again. My bag, but my I've been backstory. Strange throughout my entire life during my school time. I've been harassed. I, I even got expelled most of the times at school. I just had expelled. My man got expelled. <laughs> oh, it's it's so bad for this dude. <laughs> had a struggling life. Damn. These people won't even care if I was dead. I just been. Almost humiliated throughout my entire okay. life, and yeah. I'm tired of being bro, 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 this is so messed up to inflict on a bunch of children in the chat, man. This is so fucked up that he's doing this to a bunch of kids. That he's forcing a bunch of kids to appease his weird suicide baiting. This is disgusting. Bro, uh, some. <laughs> Yo, bro, the sometimes you, sometimes you, sometimes you don't. Got docs. Bro, bro, Yes, I'm gonna be bro. mentioning this again. I got docs myself. All my stuff got leaked. Got yeah, leaked. I was very scared. Speaking of that, um, it was before, bro, bro. It was before I met you, TH. It was before I met you. Where's the guy talking shit? Mind your own business. Leave me alone. Mind your own business, or just leave, leave the stream. If not, then Saudi TH will ban you. Leave him alone. No one cares about God, but he believes in God. I, honey, I know you're not good with the can opener. Do you want me to open the chef for you? Just leave it at the door open, Mom. He believes in God too, so leave us alone. Yeah, leave us alone. But listen, we still believe in God, but you don't have to. Honestly, Sega Sonic Gamer is probably the kind of dude who, like, when he was in grade eight, he hung out with kindergartners. Like, there's, there's something, there's something going on here, man. I am Alan. Uh, I am shockingly enough. Basically, do that. Like, we are you in don't the have to say, uh, spread the gospel and give this man the god. I believe in God myself, but you don't have to be this annoying. Seriously, why haven't we just like kicked him from the chat or so? I mean, why haven't we just like? They kicked him off for the live. Uh huh. Hold on, let me just hold on. <laughs> and the biggest takeaway from all of these moments is that Ace, <laughs> Ace is pretty cool for a kid his age. Good for him to to like not feed into what he's doing, but at the same time just be like, hey, like don't don't do anything drastic. <laughs> oh my Jesus. That is super weird, uh, Kaylee. That is very weird. Hang on. Yeah, don't. Hang on. Someone said, "Please." Please don't suicide mouse yourself in real life, please, please. You don't. You don't have to Jeff the kill yourself. You don't have to SCP contain yourself. Swap me in. You Obviously. get him in. Don't don't I breach can't. that containment. Can don't don't do it. To don't six do people. It. It's StreamYard, I can do it! I mean, five, right? Who's Kirby Gaming Gumball? I don't know who that is. Oh, it's that's... Speedy. It's Speedy yeah, Kirby. Speedy, it's Speedy, Speedy, Speedy. Kirby. Yeah, Speedy, Speedy. It's Speedy. That's just his channel name. Fine. Yeah, let him in, let him in. Speedy, let him in, let him in. Don't call. kick me All right. Alan, who who the hell is Speedy Kirby? I I I haven't come across that yet. Yeah, please don't persona three FES yourself, please. Get out. 
Uh, All right. We believe in Santa Christ. Kick Meta Knight out, and then you can get Kappa in him. Yeah. Or you can kick me. It doesn't really matter. I'll I uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the hit. No, it's okay. I'm <laughs> not gonna kick anybody out. That's a good question, Trickster. You you at least have oh, to swap someone in. I can't you have to that. get Kappa in here because he feels extremely bad. All right. Okay. 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 Let me just remove one of you guys from the stream, and you can come back later. Okay. But just keep okay. just keep Don't posting comments. Don't do okay. Me. Understood. There we go. All right. Speedy. Know that. Call. Do you guys hear oh, me? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah. This is wild that like all these all these literal children are talking this nearly thirty year old man off the ledge. It's it's just unreal. All right. Look, you made all of us cry, bro. Please you don't do it. Cry. It's not worth do it. 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 Bro, you have so much to live for. Okay, I've got this cool meme that you need to see. Bro. Not worth Please don't. You have a lot to live for. It. Look, dude. You don't, you Look, dude. Don't I may it. hang out with you most of the time, but when you when I try mostly hang out with you more, you mostly just like say I'll hang out with you later. Dude, if you wanted to hang out with me or somebody, just invite us. Like just let us know if you're lonely, like, you know, let us know, and we'll yeah. hang out. Yeah, just let yeah. us know. <laughs> yeah, he's going to need ratchet straps to make that happen. I I mean, I'll I'll jump around this because it just seems like a menagerie of random people trying to console this adult man. Under gotcha cute, gotcha cuteness. But no offense to you, Scuffy Kid, because Gosh. you did a call out looking for the with, like, Come on. With like awesome content, so no offense to you, Stuffy. Anyways, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> but not just that, have, but song Sega Gamer. I have to go ahead. Two K Seven, T Four Two K Seven. You're gonna force me to join your stupid community of the community thing. Well, this is why I think of you. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh, we're so back, chat. We are so fucking back. It's not sad anymore. He's still a dick. <laughs> this is what I think of you. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I have something to say. I have something to say. I have something to say. Okay. Go ahead. Team boy. I swear to God, bro, if you say something else, bro, if you call any one of us out, I will get my entire- Depressed and cooking. Hey, Sonny, have you done your math homework yet? Sorry, Mom, I'll do it in a minute. I'm trying to convince a fat pedophile not to kill himself. They're like, I will get my entire community of friends, bro, and I will get them to all- Ink, you've missed so much. You would have no sympathy for this man if you saw the start of this stream. All right, all right, young Mesa. This guy, this guy is a bad person. <laughs> He's a very bad person. I'll get on you, bro. I will get them all. Try me, bro. Try me. If you're if you're listening to me right now, try me. Don't judge me, Mesa. This guy's I also, a, I wanna, really I hear, bad. I want to I want you to come up to my face, bro. Well, hold up. Hold. On. Let me quote real quick. I. <clears throat> Teen boy. 2K7. Where do I even start? You Where do call I even people, begin? You know, for being. He is you know, the bad like user. A literal nine year old who doesn't want to sound high pitched in his videos, so instead you use that robotic like voice. Because yeah, a Jester, cool he, he a does. Boy, a little bro. So <laughs> He's using Microsoft Sam. So for that. get off people's PC and, and stop me writing for them. This, like, for anyone who just joined in, this man is getting random children to convince him not to, uh, commit sewer slide. Alright, who we got, who we got later on here? And again, Alan and, and Jester, tell me if I skip over anything really good. He tries to call me out. I'm gonna pull the me. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... This is the guy who's guy... like, I, yes. I want, I need I your help calling this guy out. This guy out. Not your oh. help calling... Well, well, you got... Oh. 
we we are just we are just did it all right we might we might revisit that because there's clearly a lot that we uh have to get through we'll get we'll get back to some funny ssg instead of sad ssg what's up can a kid come oh yeah this is him dubbing this is him dubbing the scene all right this is him dubbing the scene chat we in it what's up can a kid come up in your crib man fuck you i'll see you at work Ah, uh, idiot, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, idiot. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-ass haircut, you got you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your stupid Is that it? It's, is that it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let me run that back. Haircut, you got you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your stupid ass if she ever stops fucking with that brain surgeon or lawyer she's fucking with. Bitch ass. Oh, what? bitch ass. Oh, man. Oh, SSG. We gotta, we gotta run back to the bitch ass. Idiot. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee ass haircut, you got you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your stupid <laughs> ass if she ever stops fucking with that brain surgeon or lawyer she's fucking with. Bitch ass. What? What's he? What's he doing in the background? He's he's just he's up to goddamn tomfoolery. He <laughs> gentrified GTA. <laughs> oh man. All right, this is this is one that I'd like to end on before we get into. Uh, we'll have to get into the Teen Boy stuff later. Uh, there's so much. There's so I much. This is uh, our boy making a ranting on some Peppa Pig. Wild adventures. Go and play with the toy train. Choo -choo. Next stop, New York. But New York is very far. Yes. Preston, I don't give N-word passes. I sell them. He could get a subscription. But this is a magic train. Next stop, the moon. That's even further. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be loads of fun. Oh, Another Durman. educational game. Really? Really? What were they thinking? What were they thinking, Next chat? Stop. New York! But New York is very far. Yes, but this is a magic train. We, yeah, funnily enough, he's a very big fan of Peppa Pig, but he wants Peppa Pig to be mature, and we're going to find out why. Outright games, you son of a... Hey. What is going on, everybody? How y'all doing? This is the Sonic Sega Gamer, and today I wanted to make a rant video based on the game that you guys never heard of, but it's also based on a TV show. As you saw during my skit video at the beginning, I can tell for one thing, this studio goes by the name of Outright Games. They're making educational games, and pretty much nobody cares about it. Now, I'm gonna let off a lot of, like, a lot of, some steam here because there's a lot of things I wanna say why educational games sucks, you know? In my, it's my opinion. Anyways, as you can tell by the title, yeah. Outright game. He honestly does seem like, what if the pissed off gamer actually liked the Nintendo GameCube? You're right, the Preston. Games is making another Peppa Pig game. Come on. If you guys don't know, the first game that was developed by Outright Games, they released My Friend Peppa Pig almost like two years ago, I think. It was and Peppa now Man. they're making a direct sequel that's coming for X that's coming for Xbox One. Yeah, yeah, chat. That's a very good point, Travis. It's it's quite bizarre that this the same guy who likes Peppa Pig likes Persona 5. <laughs> it's uh, kind of weird how he's he's into two like <laughs> the two furthest ends of the spectrum there playstation like, what were they thinking pc steam and of course nintendo switch so yeah and for those of you guys who know who outright game is well i'll give you a little bit of history for those of you guys who don't know outright games 
is actually a British video game publisher, and also developers, I think, focused on licensed games and other stuff. Mostly family-friendly games, but the thing is, they were making some games in the past that were decent and some that were not decent. In 2017, they released a Ben 10 game, developed by Taurus. Let's check Kuko Chad with $5. Finally caused a caught a brain stream. The first thing I see is a fat, bald guy ranting about some pig. Great entertainer he is. Yeah, you missed uh, him talking about his Sonic waifu, sadly. But uh, we're, we're definitely going to revisit this gentleman. He's, he's a peculiar dude. First games. But thank you so much, Kuko. Greatly appreciate it. Steven Universe, Save the Life, OKKLSB OK, Heroes, two games of one. Cool. Ice Age. I remember Ice Age. Ice Age, Scratch, Nutty Adventure. And the rest goes on. But now, years later, they will start making games that basically I just <laughs> don't care about. And to be honest, I'm gonna love I'm gonna love some rage and steam here. Once again, I'm gonna make this video just this one time, 18 plus. So if you have okay. kids and you have any kids, like. This is a very rare 18 plus Peppa Pig discourse right here. 18 plus Peppa Pig conversation. Uh, all the adult Peppa Pig fans, this is for you. If parents are actually watching this or any kids that are watching this and they do not want to see me curse this video, then click off this video right now. I Please. don't want to see kids, you know, complaining on my YouTube page saying, uh, why is this person, why is this kid on YouTube uh, cussing? Because when I see a game like this, I, and when I, when I do a rant video about this, I have to allow some steam. And keep in mind, I know these are my personal opinions, so keep that in mind. But yeah, but with that being said, let's just get straight to the point. Also, one more thing. For those guys who are wondering, I'm actually going to bring back my actual intro. Not my actual intro, but one of my old intros that I used to use for my rant videos and so on, and also for topics. I'm still going to use the current intro, but for this case, you guys remember the intro I used Oh, no, not another intro. He has so many intros. <laughs> when um, I had the music theme song, Song Forces Infinite. It's so yeah, really quick, this is a really rank. quick update for my intros. I'm still, I'm still going to keep my current one for more like positive stuff. However, I'm going to use my the old intro, intro as part of my rant. Like my intro. This, this will be my intro rant. So for those of you guys, and sorry if the, if the intro rant is actually way too long, but I just want to keep it there. And if you want to skip the intro ahead, then go ahead. So yeah, I'm bringing I do. back. I do want to skip the intro. We saw it earlier. It's bad. It's really, it's really bad. <laughs> it's a lot of Smash Bros and DBZ footage. Now they're proving themselves. So I got that over with right now. Um, That's a great question, Kelly. Obviously, there was one video that I discussed during my final rant video against Nintendo, and one of those one of those discussion was talking about my friend that game called My Friend Peppa Pig. And if you guys don't know, My Friend Peppa Pig is more like an educational game. And plus, after Nintendo announced the final DLC character for Smash Bros, which I was not proud, but now I'm actually okay with it now, I got over with. There was one video I watched on Nintendo's official channel, and also their second channel called Play Nintendo, I think. And one of these videos, they showed a My Friend Peppa Pig trailer on the Switch. I don't, I just don't know how he can get so incensed about a game that's, like, marketed directly to toddlers it's it's not meant for you you're not you're not the core demographic man and it's also for playstation 4 and xbox one and despite the fact that when i heard this game when i heard that the peppa pig video games were coming Unreal. back i was like okay what the fuck is this so the developers behind outright games and yes that's the name of the company who developed those games they decided to release My Friend Peppa Pig. Yeah, My Friend Peppa Pig. You guys remember Peppa Pig, right? The, the character from the TV show? Yes. They just decided get, to release My Friend Peppa Pig it. last year for PS4, Xbox One, <laughs> PC, and Tell Switch. And what, I what do I think about the game? What do you I think say about? the game fucking sucks. It's nothing but educational games. And despite the fact, despite the fact, it's a preschooler cartoon shovelware game. What do you expect? Do I have to go and look at that trailer? Where if it's at Nintendo's channel, PlayStation channels, or Xbox channels, I see an educational game. Like what? They're bring those bring they're bringing an educa Peppa uh, educational Wolf. game back now for next gen consoles. Like seriously. Come on. And seriously, this is the one thing I hate about. Like seriously, 
And now they're making a direct sequel to my friend Peppa Pig called Peppa Pig's World Fucking Adventures. And you think for one sec, you think for one sec that I'm gonna spend 40 bucks or C bucks for this stupid waste of time educational game? Fuck no. Because the moment I heard that Outright Games was making the Peppa Pig video games once again, or making the Peppa Pigs again. Look, as as a member of the Peppa fandom, I'm I'm frustrated with the direction of the modern Peppa Pig video games. Okay, I'm I'm quite frustrated that they keep on cranking out this shovelware bullshit when real Peppa Chads like myself want an open world adventure game. Okay, I'm sick and tired of them uh, ignoring the mature Peppa audience. The games, I feel so disgusted. And look who's on the cover. Just like the first My Friend Peppa game. Look who's on the cover. It's Peppa Pig herself, the protagonist of that show, and on the video games. And once again, they're bringing <laughs> back like, the, customiz the, the customization game. character. You play as your character once again, your custom character, just like in the first My Friend Peppa game, a Peppa Pig game. And you're just, and pretty much, the game doesn't give you much freedom, you know? And you have Peppa Pig, you know, pretty much you know, annoying you to talk about, like, some random shit stuff all the way until the end of the game. That's it! There's nothing to do in this game, just like the first game. You know, no side activities, no free roaming. It fucking sucks! And no Peppa Pig Karma, so whenever... I Would I say am I right? Um, I'm, I'm more perturbed. I'm, I'm kind of a peeved gamer. I'm a, a ticked gamer. I hear her fucking voice. She reminds me of that one character, one character from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Remember Navi the Fairy? Who doesn't want to show up to give us good hints? Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Yeah. Almost any Zelda game that has a supporting character or your companion character, they always have to you really fucking want annoy free you. Roam except, for Tal <laughs> except, for, except for that fairy character named Tattle no, from Majora's Mask world. and Midna from Ubisoft Plus. Towers. At least those, those companion characters, yeah, your companion characters, at least they're much more... <laughs> Why doesn't Peppa have a gun? ...better than fucking Navi. Because Navi has been in, in Ocarina of Time, and to be honest... Peppa if they actually gun. put her in High Warriors, and to be honest, that game came out a long time ago, but just imagine if High Warriors Definitive Edition got an update, and we see fucking Navi again on Pick Stuff, and now there's this new fairy in High Warriors name. Uh, what's her name? Why? Why couldn't the Peppa Pig game be a Souls-like, guys? Oh, like why couldn't Peppa Pig play like Sekiro? Um, hold on, I have to look it up because I don't know the the fairy's name. But to be honest, she's like much more 10 times annoying. Depressed it. You have to deactivate all the nukes to get the real ending, okay? You have to deactivate all the nukes in, in the, the Phantom Pig. <laughs> the freaking Navi the Fairy, as far as I know. And besides, Navi the Fairy is one of the most annoying video game characters I've ever seen for once. Like, seriously. Oh, let's see, what's the fairy's name? Oh, okay, of course. Her name is Proxy. Yeah, Proxy, that's her name. And just like Navi, if you play Hyrule Warriors, you can tell she says that same words when Navi does. She say, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen. Grrr! Proxy, shut up! You're worse than you God damn, why is she so, so fucking mad about this, like, game for six-year-olds? You're, you're worse and annoying than Navi! The Strange fairy. type game. <laughs> Peppa Pig Souls, like, And to be yeah. honest... When it comes to Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig won't even shut her fucking mouth for once. We always have to see her as a supporting character and your companion character for the rest of the whole game. She can't leave you alone. She will follow you. In the, she will follow you anywhere, no matter what you do or where you go. She's always gonna be by your side all the fuck. Yeah, like like Carlos. That's that's a very fair point. Like. Uh... You know, children's games can be good. They can be engaging. They can be fun. Uh, they can be for all ages, right? But this is like a, literally a game that is catered to five-year-olds to learn facts and shapes and all that sort of stuff. It, it's a game for preschoolers. It, it's not a game with any robust gameplay, right? 
and he's basically asking for this game to be Far Cry 3. Fucking time for the rest of the whole game. Uh, Liquid Snappy with $5. Google Peppa Pig antagonist for a laugh. All right, you got it. You got it, buddy. Uh, Google. Peppa Pig antagonist. So there's Lucina. <laughs> Lucina is a recurring minor antagonist in the show Peppa Pig. She is determined to annihilate the pig family to alter the course of fate, much like her role model, Dimitri. In current seasons, she is a third-party villain, often fighting both the pig family and other antagonists. Ah, huh, interesting. <laughs> and to be honest, this is one of the worst reasons why oh, thanks for popping I don't like outright games. I don't even know who this studio was until now. And keep in mind, though, I'm not gonna waste like 40 bucks or 60 bucks for an educational fucking game that I don't wanna waste time off. Look, that's that's my hard earned money from doing nothing and collecting benefits because my mom drank too much when I was a child. Does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Guys like us, gamers gamers like us, we play oh, better anybody. games. For me, I'm mostly more into platforming, fighting games, action adventure games. It is drastic. A little bit of RPG for games. I also the hack and slash games like Fire Emblem Warriors or Hyrule Warriors or even Persona 5 Strikers and other stuff. Yeah, why can why can this children's baby game play more like Persona 5 Strikers? And to be honest, when I see this, when I look at their website, I see this either on Nintendo's official web official channel or Play Nintendo, which is their second channel. I also love that he doesn't realize that he can't film his tablet directly and show us what's on it, but that's okay. That is a-okay. Put back Peppa Pig in Tech and eight. One of the worst third party tells ever. And to be honest, they're like a little bit of Dragon Ball Z rupture. There's like, there's like better over 9,000 games out there than this piece of shit garbage game. For real. Like, For here, real. Let me give you Talk an example. Shit, homie. We're gonna start with the good old classics and 64 games. Okay. All there right. are better games going you can play. You know, platform such as Super Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie. Those are one of the best games ever. It's all about platforming, collecting stuff, and so on. And see what the race is? It says kids to adults. So it's a shame they don't have that ES ESRB rating anymore for kids to adults, but it'll be nice if they brought that back. Unreal. Unreal that like he he feels the need to go like all right, kids. All right, little fucking kids in 2023 or whenever this was made. Uh, just get an N64 and play Banjo-Kazooie instead. Even though you, you can play it in, like, Rare Replay or something, but, like, whatever. Whatever. No, get an N64 and play this game that I played when I was a child instead of your baby game, which I'm getting mad at because for some reason I'm interested in it. And Banjo-Kazooie! Ready for one? That's one of the best platform games Fucking ever on the N64. Every time. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie, of course. And not to mention also Diddy Kong MK1. Racing, but that's not that's another good racing game. And once again, it says kids to adults, you know. To be honest, I just want to play more of a family-friendly games that have more collectathons or fighting games and stuff. And that's why Super Mario 64 is one is one of the best games ever. And not Peppa should kill her enemies. Only that, but there are also better action adventure games to play. But I'll get to that in a minute. There are better platform <laughs> games here too. You know, I'm gonna show a couple of them. Games like Super Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey, Sonic Adventure 2, Bow, another good Sonic game. You know, or even Pac-Man World 2. That's Pac a good platform World. game. Let's go, Pac-Man World 2. Mentioned. Let's fucking go, chat. I like to play games that have more, much more better controls, better tools, and so on. And to be honest, you know, there are better games out there you can play than this shitty, you know, genre of educational games. Yeah. And there's also better action-adventure games. I know why people don't like Star Fox Adventures. That's perfectly fine, but, you know, I still love this game. Although, I don't know why the game says Ray T for team, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, nutty, nutty buddy, that is foul. That he looks like the human who can withstand a car accident. Oh, God. Yes, but seriously. Playing Star Fox Peppa Ventures, Pig. originally was called Dinosaur Planet. Now I changed Star, uh, Star Fox Ventures, but this is the like the only game where you get off your army and start exploring I want a, on foot. I want a Peppa Pig game that has Mass Effect style choices. This game is still decent. 
In fact, it was one of the last games Rareware, wa uh, Rareware made before they cut ties with Nintendo and stuff. But this is still a damn good game, you know? Star Fox Adventures. It's my opinion. So, yeah. Hopefully this game will get a remake one day. If not, forget it. But, yeah. And also the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. The promotional disc that includes four classic games. So, it's just the Legend of Zelda, the worst Zelda game, Zelda 2, which I'm not a fan of. And also the 3D Zelda games, such as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And, man, if you want to play a good action-adventure game, then... Buy the, collector's uh, buy the collector's edition or play uh, the old school Zelda games separately on the N64 or play yeah, on the Switch on. Online service. Come on. come on. Those are better games. You know, I like these action adventure games, you know? And also All right, I can't I can't listen to this man bald over Peppa Pig uh, much longer. And I've been doing this for uh, about three hours now. Good fucking God. What's wrong with me? Uh... Let's 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 bring the boy back in the middle. There there he is. Chat. Chat. Appreciate all of you. Love all of you. Um we will definitely be doing a part two of the Sega Sonic Gamer because there is so much to get through. Again, big thanks to uh to Alan Sampson for compiling a lot of resources. I couldn't even I couldn't even get to the really meaty like Teen Boy 2K7 and Ace Jagger uh tournament arc. There is a tournament arc where a challenge is proposed. So we will get to that next time. Uh, it might be a little bit until the next stream because I am working on some videos. So um, I'll, I'll try and pepper a few things here and there. I will most likely upload Rouge the Bat's message to the uh, Sonic Sega Gamer. And other than that, I'm gonna keep on slugging, man. Uh, thank you so much to everyone in chat. Thank you for contributing to the Tekken 8 fund. It's uh, it's very appreciated. That was mostly a joke, but I'm very glad that I will be able to buy Tekken 8. <laughs> Video games are so horrifically priced in Canada because of inflation. But uh, thank you so much to everyone here. Thank you to uh, everyone popping in, cracking jokes, making fun of this man's appearance. Y'all have a wonderful night, and of course, peace, peace, peace.